701 right here on today's hit music. It is Q92. Good morning, everybody. Christian, Jake here with you. Lauren will be here in about 10 minutes. She'll be joining us here on the show. So if you're like, where's Lauren? She'll be here. No worries. No worries at all. We got a lot still going on in the show here this morning. Uh, coming up this hour, we are giving away tickets to the Stark County Home and Garden Show at the Hall of Fame Village this Friday and Saturday. Going to give that away here this hour. At 8 o'clock, we call the grand prize winner of our Morgan Wallen contest. After that, we announce a brand new contest. We'll get a finalist for that contest in the 9 o'clock hour. Plus, in the 9 o'clock hour, we'll be talking to comedian Ed Ellis, who's going to be at Crackpots Comedy Club in Maslin uh, Friday and Saturday night doing shows. We're going to hook you up with passes to that. And also, for those of you watching on Facebook, YouTube, and X, we announced our new contest this morning. We're going to get a finalist on the stream as well. So if you're checking us out on Facebook, on YouTube, or on X, we'll tell you what to put in the comment section to enter for a chance to become a finalist once we announce the new contest. There's a lot to get to this morning. Our phone number, 330-450-9292. Our text line, 330-269. 9292 uh text message chris if you live on a golf course you must be rich no behind a golf course not on a golf course behind it and it's not exactly augusta uh happy morning guys you guys are awesome have a great day marsh checking in good morning marsh good morning everyone lumber guy is checking in a lumber guy glad you're saying hello on the text line thank you for being with us here this morning and if you're a morgan wallen finalist man Less than an hour. So many finalists, but only one phone's going to ring. And that's going to be in about an hour from now. So good luck to all of the finalists for Morgan Wallen. And we'll be talking to that winner real soon. Four minutes after seven. It's Doja Category Hills. It's Q92. Uh, Christian and Lauren need a little advice, All right. and this might help Christian out someday, too. Okay. At what age do you think it's safe for your child to play sports? I would think that would depend on the sport a little bit. I agree. I mean, You're I'd... talking about, like, tackle football? Uh, yeah. I can only... What my brother and his wife did is they got all three of their boys into flag football first. Yeah. They played flag football for years. Yeah. And then they transitioned in, I want to say, like... Uh, Seventh grade, seventh and eighth grade, they went to tackle football. Yeah. Like, well, they did like this. Yeah, Ryan just finished his eighth grade. Noah's going to be in seventh next year. My nephew Michael is playing in eighth grade next year. So that's kind of how and then my other nephew Michael just started football. First sport he ever played, yeah. tackle football. But he's in seventh grade. Yeah. Um, that was kind of, if you're talking that kind of contact sport, that was kind of the plan that my brother and his wife did, and I kind of liked it. Yeah. Because you learn some of the fundamentals in flag. Oh, I agree. And in a less physical toll. And then you kind of you understand. So when you go to tackle football, you have a You summer. learn the rules of the game. Like, really yeah. what the game's about, I think. I, I don't know. I'm a huge fan of organized sports. I think that... I think they're great. I think they're great. And I'm sorry. I think they're great for socializing with, yep. and, and getting social skills. They're great for exercise. Yeah. Getting them off the video games and, and out of the house. Yeah. Uh, so I agree with you. I, I think whether your kid shows an interest in soccer, uh, baseball, softball, I, I agree. Because my son, I promise you, if he, we'll ask. I'll never force my kid. I will never force my kid. I will. I will be. You and I, I think agree on this. If you sign up for something, you've got to finish. You're going to see it through. Hundred percent. If when the season's over, you decide that's not for you, fine. fine. Yeah. But if we're playing a season of, let's say, soccer, yeah, you're playing soccer. Well, to season. me, a commitment's a commitment. You teach them that early on. Like, if you're going to commit to doing this and you say you want to do this, you have to follow through. Yep. Because, I mean, that's that's life. You have to follow through.
uh, what is it? Rage Room, families that play favoritism, but then call the kettle black for other family members when they believe that they are also doing it for their own kids. <laughs> Family favoritism. Sucks. I yeah. feel bad for my brother and sister. <laughs> you're on a roll today. You I know really your sister's do. listening. I really do. They know I'm the best one. <laughs> if there's one shining star of the children, they, they know who it was. They know it wasn't them. Uh, to the guy that passed me as soon as the railroad crossing bar goes up, how can you assume I'm not also late for work and in a hurry, asshat? <laughs> now listen, I'm for name calling as long as I can say it on the radio. I wish I could be like, you know how they do the NFL mic up? I am like the worst. I ha- I need one of those for on days when I'm running late or someone's driving stupid, like close to me. My kids make fun of me all the time. Asshat does not get used enough. Your sister said I need to take your booze away. <laughs> booze. The Zoa. Uh, rage room, this country not having a law for maternity leave and having to go back to work too soon because you can't afford not to. Give it the times, USA. Rage room. Yeah, I you better sad. Yeah, I know. I mean, who? it's the hardest thing to go back to work and leave your baby the first time. Not Especially easy. when you're not ready yet. You know what I mean? Like when you're not physically healed completely or, you know, just, I mean, you're like lactating. And I only say that because... It's a thing. Like, even if you're not breastfeeding, like, you leak for a while. Yeah. Well, the older you get, yeah. We're like, we're like old faucets when we get older. You know what I mean? I'm talking about new moms. I know. I'm talking about wieners. You know, there's that old saying, you can wiggle, you can jiggle, you can do a little dance. The last three drops end up in your pants. Yeah, that's gross. <laughs> you ever hear that, Jake? Only from you. Oh, well, there you go. Dude. But you have said it before. Well, take it with you and use it in, in, in life. Oh, I have already. Have you done it? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and I repeat it to other people, and then and everybody else is, knows what I'm talking about. Nice. Like, well, because they've already all heard it. They're like, no. yeah. Oh, they haven't? They, they haven't heard it. Oh. I see. I've heard it. Just trying to make the world a better place. question to you lauren is what is your true favorite beer beer i don't want to i don't care about seltzers or liquor beer um everyday beer like if just you, gonna if have lauren wants a, a ice cold beer a rough day only a beer i don't want to hear truly i don't want to hear wine no. cooler i want to hear i drink beer, beer. Well, uh, I, listen i drink truly too i'm not making fun. i'm just saying like it's no, I beer know. day it's not hard seltzer day uh either miller light or modelo Miller Lite or Modelo? Yeah. I would say I'm Miller Lite or Bud Light. Those are the two beers that I can, I think, have the best taste. Yeah. To me. Jake, your favorite beer. I don't know why Lauren and I are naming two each. But <laughs> <laughs> I can't but name one. You don't have a favorite beer? I don't like beer. Not at all. I have never finished a beer. I tried. You've never finished a beer in your life? No, because I tried once because I know Star's dad likes drinking beers. I was like, maybe one day he would want to have a beer with me. I, so right. I tried to force myself to have a beer one time. I couldn't do it. <laughs> are, are you Give ta- a video you, of wait, that? Wait, 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 no, I don't. Are you talking about you had a beer with daddy? Is that what you're talking no, no, about? No, no, no. It was, it was alone. It was, I was, it was, daddy no. David and Poo Poo Face? No, I did not. It was, I was trying to prep. fight? Okay, Christian. I was trying to prepare myself for that moment, but it never happened because I was doing it alone. But no, I can never. I couldn't finish it. Listen, some people don't like. I get it. There are people that just don't like the taste of beer. I'm Do not, you, you know, like pumpkin beers? Because now is no, the time for like all pumpkin. of that. I had my first pumpkin ale at Winking Lizard last weekend. It was so good. But if you guys are listening and you really enjoy pumpkin beer, it's kind of expensive, but it is so worth it. Because you only really drink one, right? And then you have your follow-up beer, like yeah. Miller Lite or Modelo or whatever. Right. O'Doul's, right? <laughs> Something right. like that. Southern Tier Pumpkin Nitro is so stinking good. Have you been drunk, Jake? One time. Off what? Wine coolers? No, it was the strawberry daiquiris or pina colada. Oh, I thought he was going to say, oh, that. I had that half a beer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, been drunk once in your life at 24. Yeah. And do not cannot stand the taste of beer. You've never been able to even finish a bottle of beer. Correct. Okay. Last time you even had liquor or alcohol. A couple days ago. Oh, look at you. Whoa. Look at you. Not the answer I was thinking was going to come what, out of his mouth. Was it a daiquiri? No, I made a, uh, I took coconut rum and ginger ale and uh, blue snow cone syrup and just mixed it together because I was desperate. Interesting. Pretty little drink. Okay. <laughs> you are so fascinating. 
<laughs> just you know, so you should make a snow cone and do that concoction. That would be really good. Like, we've, boozy snow cones. We, and- we've thought about that so many times. Oh, my but gosh. Just never- Jake, that's another part of your business. Yeah. For adults. The adult, I, it's, it's adult been, bounce party. It's been thought about, but liquor license and stuff like that. I don't know how to. Yeah. Make- legit. I'll help you. All right. I'm serious. Okay. The things of it. You know how to make a bomb. <laughs> Don't ask him. <laughs> no. Okay. Wouldn't shock me. He's like, well, of course. Did you ever make those bombs? What time would you like? Seven twenty, right here on today's hit music. It is Q ninety two. Christian Lauren Jake here with you, hanging out on your Thursday morning. Later on this hour, Stark County Home and Garden Show tickets good for Friday or Saturday. We're going to give those away here. The queue to call me caller number ten. Got that for you. Eight o'clock. We call the grand prize winner Morgan Wallen. After that, we announce a brand new contest. And we'll tell you how you can become a finalist on the live video stream on Facebook, YouTube, and X. And we'll get a cue to call for a finalist as well. Uh, Nine o'clock hour. We'll be joined on the phone by comedian Ed Ellis. He'll be performing at Crackpots Comedy Club coming up Friday and Saturday. We'll have uh, tickets to both those shows. We'll be giving those away after we talk to him. So a lot still to get to if you're Morgan Wallen finalist, man. Good luck. One of your phones is going to be ringing here in about 40 minutes. Pretty fun. Get to go see Morgan Wallen in Hershey, PA with a hotel stay. Thanks to our friends at Sarna. Very, very cool. Uh, good morning on the text line. Everybody, white van guy and son of white van guy is checking in. Hey, Red Lobster fans, we're in trouble. Why? If you're a Red Lobster fan. I, t- I saw this yesterday. It was on our show prep today. They are considering Chapter 11. Okay. And closing a bunch of stores. Uh, they have some debt. It'll allow them to uh, discard long-term contracts and renegotiate new leases. So not go away forever, but definitely going to be closing some Red Lobster. Do you know what you can blame it on? And this is true. What we could br- blame this on? Yeah. Endless Shrimp. Their endless shrimp did them in? Yes. Google it. Comes after last year's company reported a record loss of $11 million. It's all those shrimp. Wow. How'd we do last year? Well, <laughs> we're negative 11 mil. Bad news. Mm, wow. But everybody's loving the shrimp. Now, I do not frequent Red Bob. No, neither do I. I can't remember the last time I went to a Red but I'll tell you this, as someone who's not a seafood fan per se, unless it's breaded, I mean like breaded white fish and like breaded shrimp only is pretty much... You want everything fried. That's as far as yeah. I'll go. And breaded calamari, I suppose. I had one of the better steaks I've ever had at a Red Lobster. At a place where I didn't expect it. Let's put it that way. Yeah. I had a steak there one day because I didn't even know they had a steak on the menu and I got real excited. Whoever I was with, I was like, oh, they have steak. I like steak a lot more than fish. That steak was fantastic. Now, you're right. They did have endless shrimp. Here it is. I found it. This is from the Washington Post. It was also on CNN, Fox News, MSNBC. So, like, all the majors picked it up. Oh, come on. Someone texted in, I'm going to Red Lobster this Friday. Well, you better go while you can. Yeah, you better savor that just in case. Enjoy yourself. I have I have no issues with uh, Red Lobster. No, I don't either. We used to have to go there because Tony's grandmother really liked it. But Tony would also get a steak because he hates seafood. I mean, hates it. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I'm not, I, I don't hate. I'm not a fan. It says Red Lobster called its endless shrimp irresistible and then lost $11 million. <laughs> Listen, people love shrimp. 
Yes. People It contributed Red to the overall third quarter operating loss and ultimately the potential demise of Red Lobster restaurants as we know it. Yeah. So their own special did them in. That'd be like Olive yeah. Garden saying the endless pasta cost them. Because they kind of are the Olive Garden of the sea. They put it as a mainstay on the menu. Oh. You pay $20 to eat as many shrimp as you wanted. Dude, people can eat a lot of shrimp. They're not super filling. And, and they're not big. Yeah, like I'm saying. Like you, you know. Right. But they're expensive, little buggers. Like, I get the idea. It probably got people in the door. I mean, was that supposed to be a lost leader or something? Because that seems like a risky, you know. So, now there's one in Boardman. I don't, yeah. Is there one in Canton? Oh, yeah. There's one in Belden. We have one in Belden? Yeah. There's real, one in Belden. The there's one in, uh, there's one in Boardman. I got to tell you, when I go by, when I go by that one in Boardman, I don't, I don't often see a ton of cars there. Yeah. It's never empty, but you can drive by almost every restaurant in Boardman and the parking lot's pretty much full. Pretty crazy. Same with Belden. I think ours does pretty well. Yeah. I was going to say, I don't, I don't ever see it like barren. But I can't tell you. I mean, I'm telling you, I might've been in my twenties the last time I went to a Red Lobster. Um, Probably the past 10 years, I would say like. Closer to 10 ish years for me. Jake, have you ever been to a Red Lobster? I don't remember a time that I was. I so. mean, their Cheddar Bay biscuits are amazing. You can make them at home, though. I do. They, yeah, they are known for those biscuits. Mm -hmm. but other than that, like I said, I, I, I just I, I hate to see another chain go away. Now, they're, again, they're not going to close every store. Yeah. They're trying to do this to protect themselves. But have they announced they're done with the endless shrimp? I mean, I would certainly hope so. Yeah, I would send out maybe a hey, maybe a post there. Hey, thank you all for supporting us and our endless shrimp. We hope you enjoyed it. However, I mean, I think like it would be fun, and they could probably see. To me, they need a good social media campaign. I, I'm a firm believer in that. Like, even if they just had somebody that was like, hey, you know, it was one of their cooks. Like, we had to put the ixnay on the free shrimp bay because we in trouble. <laughs> like, you know. Seriously. Text, I have never been to a Red Lobster. I had no desire. No, well, maybe never you don't. Been. Maybe you don't like seafood. Or maybe you do. And that was like the Olive Garden for you. Because, you know, some people look down on Olive Garden. I don't. I don't either. I was there a couple weeks ago. I was there in February. <laughs> I got uh, me, me and the wife something to eat. Got the kid some meatballs because he loves meatballs. That's cute. I don't even think it cost me 40 bucks. No, I mean, it's. I mean, it can be pricing, pri pricing. It can be pricey, but it's not. To me, it's not the most expensive. I prefer chicken, and usually, chicken at a seafood restaurant comes out tasting like seafood anyway. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, Tony used to bite the bullet and go to Joe's Crab Shack with me. Which, by the way, I miss Joe's. I'll tell that. you a place I love for seafood. I'm not, and not in any way joking. Long John Silver's. Why don't you go? Because there's not the, the closest one is by my mom's house. Oh, we have one in our local Taco Bell. Like yeah, together, we got yeah. the combo. Love the combo. Yeah, well, that's what that's what the one is in Austin Town. It's the Taco Bell Red Lobster combo. Now I'll tell you this: Red Lobster, not Red Lobster. Uh, the uh, Long John Silver's. Well, they stopped serving that though at the combo at like eight or nine. Yeah, and they get kind of pissed if you ask for it afterwards. I don't know why, but that particular store. They're very like, sir, we're no longer serving Long John Silvers. We're just Taco Bell. Oh, okay. well, that's kind of dumb. Okay. A uh, shrimp scampi is the best. Are you talking about Red Lobster? Oh, yeah. I'm with you on that. The garlic butter. Uh, Fridays in Canton, I remember, was busy 10 years ago. Now, every time I drive by there, there's not a lot of cars. Yeah, I feel really Red bad Lobster. about that. Did we turn our back on Red Lobster? Maybe. Oh, Lisa says Arthur Treacher's. I remember that. We had one in Canton. I, I mean, it's not there anymore. It's been long gone. By the way, happy birthday, Nicole. She said it's her birthday. Eat some mm -hmm. cake. Maybe you want to go to Red Lobster for dinner. You might want to go while you can. <laughs> Sounds like we're on the uh, final days, maybe, of a lot of Red Lobsters. Will the Belden or Boardman one in our listening area be affected? We don't know. But I would. I wonder if they're still doing this. They, they can't still be doing it, right? I would really hope not. <laughs> but if they did, then maybe they do deserve to close. <laughs> I mean, Someone said Red Lobster is the new Nickelback. Yeah, we just yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know what it is. I think Fridays works more as a ghost kitchen and operates more out of DoorDash and Grubhub 
now one of the bartenders works at Dave and Buster's at Belden Village Mall and told us that. I could see that because the last time we were there, there were a ton of to-go orders flying out of that kitchen. For Red Lobster? No, Fridays. Oh, for Fridays? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Fridays is good. They do have some good stuff. I wouldn't get a cocktail there. No? No, it's mostly Kool-Aid. Another one. I've never been to Red Lobster, but I prefer the breaded stuff, too. My local Long John's recently closed. That's a damn shame. Red Lobster used to be my birthday restaurant, but last time my wife and I was there, it was very, very, very disappointing in the food and the service, so we stopped going there about 10 years ago. Uh, someone says Tim's Tavern has the best seafood. Red Amen. Lobster is terrible now. Years ago, it was awesome. That's another one saying used to be. Have you had Tim's? Someone? No, I've never. Oh, Christian. Someone said Endless is still going on. Why would you do that? I mean, there's I literally, Google it, friends. Like, they're like, the Endless Shrimp did them in. They're, gonna, they're facing bankruptcy. And they're like, still, come, sit, eat as many as you want. It's like What could go wrong? <laughs> Red Lobster is doing the same thing football teams do. They're tanking so they can get a better future. <laughs> they get better in the future. Oh, maybe. I, I guess. I just, that's pretty crazy. Red Lobster getting ready to uh, possibly file chapter It does 11. make me sad. There's some restaurants that I wish we could bring back. Like, I miss, I miss Eastside Mario's like crazy. I think they upped the price, though. Well, I think they had to. Yeah. Last, yeah. Last time I went to Red Lobster, there was five of us, and it cost close to three hundred dollars. Wow. Expensive birthday dinner for me. What did you guys order? Everything. I mean, seafood is more expensive. Well, that's not than a big juicy steak. For me, it's the sea scallops. I love scallops. So in Canton, it, it's it's Tim's Tavern. Oh, Tim's if, if Tavern. If we're not talking chain, yeah. If if you're talking legendary fish yeah. in Stark County, it's Tim's Tavern for sure. See, in Youngstown, it used to be. It was the Youngstown Crab Company. And that's where you took Valentine's I've seen Day billboards Day. for yeah. that. It's gone though now. It's called something else. See, I can't even go there. Like no. I love good Dungeness crab. No, but... you walked in there, you felt like you were somewhere special. Yeah. Like you you really like when you walked in, you're like, oh, I like Christian had to save up to take a girl there. That wasn't you just went there. You had to be like, okay, I make nothing. <laughs> that costs a lot. How do I make that work? <laughs> How old were you? Oh, 20s. Oh. Early early 20s. So we're beyond the whole, like, I'm going to go cut grandma's grass for some money. Yeah, right we there. are. Yeah, we are. I mean, first... you could have, but that would have been weird. Uh, mom and stepdad just had Tim's Tavern last night. They have been going about once a week. She said it's the best fish ever. It really, really is. Their beer batter is... And they're hush puppies. I, I I don't know what they do, but they do it well. Someone said Tim's Tavern got a little expensive uh, too these days, but the food is slapping good. It is. And even though they had to get a little expensive, listen, everybody did. We're in a period of inflation right now in order for Tim's to survive, which we want them to, friends. This is like they're local. They're fantastic. Got to pay a little bit more. To me, I'm willing to pay a small business, especially more for their food, if it's that good, than a chain. Oh, man, I wish TGD was still in North Canton. Um, oh, big ups. <laughs> the turkey nuggets. I, I love know. their food so much. Well, you know, I knew the owners of that. I helped. I worked I on know, they were when that guys. store opened. I, I love that store. I love the concept. I love everything about it. They also, shout out, they have the people who own TGD own Mata Mediterranean Grow over in Jackson, and it's delicious. I don't go to Olive Garden. They treat you like family. What's wrong with that? Maybe they don't like their family. <laughs> yeah, you must hate your family. <laughs> Red Lobster went to everything is pre-made, so quality is down, so there's service, uh, and so is service at the Canton one. Louisville has a Long John Silver's Taco Bell. Boom. Long John Silver's Fish is great. It's amazing. I've heard that one in Louisville's fantastic. My nephew works there. You know, I was, I was thinking, and we got sports coming up that should already been played, and uh, I mean, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about this story, Red Lobster. I was expecting a little compassion for Red Lobster. I know, and everybody's like, well, they're trash. Like, Close the door. <laughs> they suck. Like, I don't Remember, man. people work there. These yeah. are jobs. You guys are coming for Red Lobster. Is anyone a Red Lobster fan out there, for God's sake? It's uh, Blink-182, all the small things. It's Q92. <laughs> they cloned a goat, didn't they? Something like that. Can we that. clone a goat or a sheep or something? Yeah, I don't know. Pig? I don't know. We clone something. We'll be cloning humans. We'll no, cloning I humans. think she actually is alive and that she had some sort of surgery and she is recovering. But if the royal family really uses a body double, which they have said that they do have someone that's like a lookalike, like a decoy, 
If that's really who it was at that farm market and stuff, like, that's so dumb. Imagine that's your job, though. I bet you you get paid a lot. Like, I am paid to look like Jill Kate somewhere, Middleton. and we'll call you when we need you. Right. And when you do, we'll give you clothes, we'll whatever, and you got to go out and do it just, uh, you know. Like, act like Kate Middleton. Yeah. Just walk around somewhere. Yeah. Be seen. We'll make sure the paparazzi, paparazzi can only film you from a distance. Right. Somehow so with an really iPhone tell. 2. I, that, that's the stuff that cracks me up. <laughs> with an iPhone Yeah, you get two. like these, you see these footage and it's like the Subruder film. I'm like, <laughs> in the world where everyone has an HD camera in their hand, how are the only people that get a video of Kate Middleton or anyone when it's like something big? Looks like they're holding like a, a flip phone from 1997. Yeah. I don't understand. Uh... Uh, Bell Delphine or Delphine PH D E L P H I N E, and uh, she charges subscribers uh, twenty eight a month. I don't know if that's lira or whatever or whatever the hell that sign is next to the money. It's not American dollars to access her OnlyFans content. As a result of her huge online following, the social media star, whose real name is actually Mary Bell Kirshner, was able to buy her dream eight bedroom home in the Sussex County side. I mean. She went viral when she started selling her bathwater for 24, whatever this increment is, a jar. To her I found phone. her. You don't seem like you're that impressed by the physical look. It's got to do with more. Lady. It's not somebody from Dasani that's oh. buying these. Oh. Yeah. You should be shelling. Or, so, um, looks like she sells cake. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if you're, into, <laughs> if you're into that, sounds like well, Jake's but, into it. Hold on a second. More recently, she decided that she was kind of a little bit pixie. Oh no, that's anime. Yeah, the anime stuff. Yeah. yeah, I'm out. I'm out at anime. Cotton candy. Anime. Why am I saying? Anime? Oh gosh, we know Jake loves Jake cotton, got candy. The cotton candy. Cotton candy machine. Jake, I feel like you're a little too happy about this girl right now. Are you no. a fan, Jake? I mean, I only saw the no. I mean, no. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so you lose me at anime or anime, whatever. Anime, anime. You lose me at that. That's, and I'm, I'm not. I don't know. I just, I'm not into that. That stuff's weird. You can email her for business inquiries. Yeah, no. Yeah, maybe she'll come to Pickle Fest. This doesn't make any sense though, because she has 3.1 million followers. She's only posted 91 times. But is that where they get the link to her? Maybe. A lot oh. of times, don't they put that on their, like, Instagram Sweet and stuff? Sweet Lord. You can get away with a lot on Instagram. Obviously. Ask, well, ask Britney Spears. True. But she always has, like, the... She's shirtless with her hands over her nips every day. Okay, but they're covered. If she's point. not dancing with knives. Eesh. Oh. So, anyway. <laughs> Further proof. What, of what anime? Yeah, she's. Well, yeah, it's she's not even anime. anime. What's that called when they uh, furries? No. You no, know, furries is when you're full. That's more of an e girl. A what? Girl? I'm sorry. What? E, e girl. That's what, what they call them. Like internet ahead. girl. Like like gamers. It's like a thing. She has she has ears. You think that's so? Lo- that's more of a video. It's game more girl? like a role play. She has furry ears. It's, yeah. Oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> but I, I thought furry was full. Yeah, I think it is. You're like in a full bear. Well, this, yeah, that's more like a role play e girl type thing. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. she's like on Twitch, right? Yeah. That's the kind of girl be on Twitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All cute. Like, hi. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the donation. Yeah, furries I see as someone dressed as like Teddy Ruxpin tackling you. Pride night in Cleveland at the Guardians game. We were waiting in line for $2 beers for quite some time. You were with friends. I was alone. I wanted to speak to you so bad. I hope the look in your eyes was attraction from your side, too. And that's it. Wow. So if you were in line for $2 beers, Pride night at the Guardians game, and you had attraction in your eyes. 
someone's looking for you. What does that look like? <laughs> oh, Depends. I just put a muscle in my stomach. A lot of things. <laughs> Ton of things. A million faces you could make. That's so gross. Could be. It could have been gross. We don't know. We weren't there. Oh. There you go. Miss connections. <laughs> Jake, let me see your attraction look. What's your attraction? Seduce Lauren with your eyes. <laughs> Come on, I'm waiting. I, 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 <laughs> this isn't. I, this. Can't, I don't make faces. You don't have to leave that. Well, I was gonna. I, you know what? <laughs> yeah. gonna I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't just look at a girl and just like make a weird face and be like, "Come here." <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Now That's you're gonna fair. try. No, I, I, like I can't. I can't top the the, the, the two you did. <laughs> yeah. I can't. Fair enough. I, I did do. I do a pretty good job right there. Music. It is Q92 coming up here. Shortly gonna hit that cue to call for a chance to win tickets to the Stark County Home and Garden Show at the Hall of Fame Village Friday or Saturday. You just pick which day you want to go. That's simple. That's coming up here shortly. Then eight o'clock, we'll be talking to the grand prize winner of our Morgan Wallen contest. We have a brand new contest to announce. Kick off. We'll get a finalist for that. We'll tell you how you become a finalist by going online to the live video feed of the show on YouTube, Facebook, or X. We'll tell you what to do there. At nine o'clock hour. Comedian Ed Ellis coming to Crackpot's Comedy Club. We're going to be here Friday and Saturday. We're going to give away tickets to uh, both shows. We're talking about Red Lobster. I put a Twitter poll up. It's 50 50 right now. I just put it up. Feel free to go over on X and uh, vote if you like. Just, have you been to Red Lobster in the past year? Your options are hell yeah, nope, or what is Red Lobster? <laughs> so far, 50 50 on nope and hell yeah. So somebody's been there. Again, I was in my 20s. The last time I walked in those doors. I'm trying to think. I don't think my children have ever been there. Hmm. I, I mean, neither one of them will touch seafood. They've never tried it. To be fair, my son's allergic to fish. We only know that because he got an extensive allergy testing panel when he was little. All the shots? Oh. He got all the shots? Well, no, he had something called RAS testing where they actually do a blood test. But they, they did it on him like while he was under general anesthesia for an adenoidectomy and tubes in his ears and all that jazz. But it really like does a deep dive on what you're really allergic to. I had the I had the tubes. I had the tubes put in and taken out of my ears. Yeah, my son had two sets. Yeah. One of them fell out on his pillow. I didn't realize how teeny tiny they were. I guess when you think tube, you think like tube. I, like, I didn't realize it could just fall out like that. They do as like you earwax. Well think about it. As you grow, the inside of your ear grows too. So like the hole expands where they put the tube in, and then the tube just goes, shunk, falls out on your pillow. What's the biggest surgery you ever had? Mm, probably my appendectomy. Tonsils. Yeah. Jake? Oh, I don't know what it's called. I said it once before. It's on the... Uh, oh, boy. Yeah. My, my ball, one of my balls was in my okay. stomach. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Could you lead into that a little <laughs> I thought he was going to say circumcision. No. I, I didn't die. I, didn't I, thought I thought it was going to be like, oh, heart surgery. Like something like <laughs> that, that he thinks is nothing. But it's like a huge deal. Oh, I just had a little heart surgery. <laughs> but he goes right to, with no lead in, no buildup, goes right to my, oh, one of my balls in my stomach. <laughs> I had a friend that same thing, as a matter of fact. Yeah. They have to go get it. What they do is they uh, they punch you in the chest and it drops. Oh, Shut I... up. <laughs> <laughs> Not true. Yeah. There we go. Can you imagine? <laughs> and then boom, you have a stuffed shell. Uh, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Who remembers that one? Um, that, that, that's not who, as, who can't forget that's that one. That's not as uncommon as you think. I just was, I, that was right to the, <laughs> right to the point there. There was no dancing around that. No. One. We did not beat around that bush. We didn't ah. even call it its technical name. The ball was in my stomach. Right. Oh, that would be a surgery. Was that outpatient? I don't know what that means. Did you have to stay in the hospital overnight? No, I don't think so. Okay. Just went in the day. You went home that day. Yeah. You I go. was very young. So I don't remember much. Yeah, they tend to do that early. They tend to notice, like, oh, where's it at? Oh, I found it. <laughs> or just be like a good hug. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's not like one of those little like stress things like a, that you squeeze and like their a eyeballs gumball machine. pop out. Right. Oh, there's one still in there. Da -da -da -da. Shake them. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Jake, three crying, laughing emojis in the text line. 
Uh, last time I went to Red Lobster, we spent well, we're back to Red Lobster. <laughs> you people say, are just not done burying Red Lobster, <laughs> are you? The last time I went to Red Lobster, we spent four hours there as I tried to bankrupt them with 24 plates of endless shrimp combos. See? They tried slowing me down by delaying bringing my next serving, LOL. It was 100% worth the four hours and $26. And you are the reason why they're uh, filing Chapter 11. Yeah, you are the reason that there'll <laughs> be no more How do you feel Red about Lobster. yourself? No, I'm just kidding. 65 years old. I've only been to Red Lobster once. <laughs> oh, we got two things going on. Jake's balls and Red Lobster <laughs> being buried by the listeners. Uh, that was probably the funniest thing I've heard in quite some time. Someone sent the text line. Uh, poor Jake. How did that even happen, Jake? I think you're born that yeah, way. Yeah, you are. Yeah. It just doesn't descend. It doesn't drop. Descend, that's the word. Yeah. Un, you had an undescended testicle, Jake. Correct. Yeah. So then they went and they helped it descend. I mean, what are they? I really am like, I'm How not even. How do they do it? Yeah. I think magnets. They just put the magnet on yours. <laughs> just drag it down. Do you think I'm that stupid? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I really don't know. Like I said, a punch in the gut, squeeze. Tweezers, I don't know how they go in there and get it. One of those grab things like at the mall where you can grab something off a shelf. <laughs> <laughs> With this little chung. what hurt. Because not um, only you gotta get it, you gotta you gotta put it in this little pouch. You know what I mean? Oh, they literally go and get it and then they drop it in the pouch. Yeah. That's Did, literally they have to what happens. Open the pouch? Um, or can they do it from the inside? Well, it says that they can uh cut a small make a small incision in the groin. And the so he probably like goes in and gets it out of that hole and then pops it in the other hole and there you go. stitches you back up. Uh we got a cue to call coming up real soon. We're getting behind again because I wasn't I wasn't expecting that. No. Uh, we have an <laughs> undescended song we have to play. It's uh Harry Styles, it's as it was, Q ninety two. I've been to weddings where I wasn't allowed to bring a date. And that, to me, is wrong. I didn't like that. I felt, to be honest, I mean, I was, I love that I was there, but I felt, I, I was mad. We that, just, I we just had felt, that happen last summer. I wasn't mad. I just felt dumb. Does that make sense? Yes. I wasn't mad. I get it. You have rules. There's a budget. I just felt dumb. My nephew is 25 years old and was invited to a wedding uh, that we were all invited to as well. And he has a girlfriend. And they didn't just start dating. Yeah. And she was not included on the invitation. It was to the point where we had to like speak up and be like, if you want him there, he's bringing her. Yeah. Like I said, I understand you pay per plate. I understand there's a butt. So I, I get, but again, I wasn't mad. I don't even remember. Didn't plan for that. I was, I don't even remember whose wedding it was. Be don't be a that. rude dude. Plan for it and make sure that you can accommodate things. You know what's funny though? I, it, if I'm remembering this right, I don't think I got that I didn't have a plus one. I think I asked someone to go and I had a date and I had to call her back and be like I, you can't come I, it was probably me I probably read it oh, wrong because the, the, the thing didn't say still embarrassing plus guess. Yeah. I was like hey uh, that wedding I asked you to this weekend uh, don't worry about it here's the other thing it is I, I that I wish people understood it is not a privilege for me to come to your wedding it's an honor for me to be there to support you we recently had an experience where everybody was kind of treated like, you should want to be here. This is, are you kidding? You're lucky you were invited. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And no, I'm like, yeah. that's not what this should be about. This should be about celebrating your love and your union and wanting those that love you there to support you. Yeah. No, I get it. I see more texts coming in. as it was right here on today's hit music it is q92 <laughs>
Stark County Home and Garden Show is happening this weekend at the Hall of Fame Village. we got a pair of tickets to give away right now. The caller number 10, 330-450-9292. Caller 10, you're going to the Stark County Home and Garden Show. Caller 10, good luck. Uh, if you swallow chewing gum, it will stay in your stomach for seven years. I was absolutely told that. Okay, so I wasn't said I wasn't told that it was staying there for seven years, but my great my great grandmother used to tell us that if we swallowed gum, our insides would stick together, and if we swallowed watermelon seeds, a watermelon would grow in our stomach. Oh, I used Christ. to think that too. Yeah, I used to think I could grow fruit <laughs> in my stomach. You, you you thought you could grow fruit in your stomach? Yeah. I mean, you're like five. Wait, wait, you don't wait, know wait. any better. Mul- multiple fruits. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, I never actually had one, so I guess multiple fruits. So you thought if you swallowed any type of fruit seed, that fruit would then grow, grow inside in your of stomach? Me. Yeah. Yeah, I was I totally told that by my great grandma. I did. Right. I did think that. All right. You want to hear a weird, gross one? Yeah. When I was a kid. I mean, a kid kid. This is going to be kind of gross. I used to think my testicles were stuffed shells. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> not going to lie. Sorry, what? I thought they were stuffed shells that I must have eaten and dropped down there. <laughs> <laughs> I can't make that up. What the heck is wrong? With I don't you? know. Y'all were talking about that. The, the oh, the growing fruit's fine, but I can't have stuffed <laughs> shells in my balls. Okay, that's the line. I didn't know. That's a, that's a fun fact. I don't think I've ever said in this show before. I've said a lot. <laughs> I used to think there were stuffed shells, and I must have swallowed them. And they went down the wrong place, and <laughs> <laughs> that's where they decided uh, to congregate. Well, I guess I got stuffed shells and my... get a hole in your stomach, so don't they even, went there. <laughs> don't even remember eating them, but boom, they caught them both. I guess that's <laughs> where they're gonna stay. Fun facts, everyone. Uh, <laughs> that is one hundred percent true. I am in no way making that up. Um, I can't believe you sure did. Oh, yeah, sure did. <laughs> eh, I'm I'm pretty much married, got a kid. I'm good. I know. Uh, Dry weather for your Thursday will warm you up to around 67 degrees for the high today. Some sunshine mixing with clouds. Overnight, the rain showers return after midnight. Maybe a rumble of thunder, Arlo 54. I am Mark J. Weather from News 5.
They always tell you I can't tell if my uh, not daughter's boyfriend's emo. Yeah. The struggle does continue. Oh. Did something else happen to confuse you? No, he came over again. Was it Sunday? He came over to pick her up. He got home from Florida, and they had seen each other in Florida for spring break. So it had been a good day since they saw each other. I right, it. right, yeah. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. It does, it does. Uh, he came to pick her up, but again, black pants, black shirt, black hoodie, zip up, black shoes, black hair. Was he tan? I don't think so. She said he was. He looked emo pale to me. But you know what? She spent a week in Florida, and she doesn't look tan. I don't know. Maybe they, this generation. maybe they didn't go to Florida. I don't know. Maybe they were <laughs> maybe they're in Montana. I don't know where they went, but I I expected them both to be like golden tan. You know what I mean? Come on. Yes. Like, Hello. And they both, but no, I, I were there any said, pictures? Nicole. Nicole, where are you calling from? Jansen. All right, Nicole. You, congratulations. You're calling number 10. You're the winner. Please. Congratulations, Nicole. You just scored yourself a pair of tickets to attend the 73rd annual Stark County Home and Garden Show at the Hall of Fame Village Thank Center for Performance. Thank you, guys. You're very welcome. Just tell everybody your favorite station, making you a winner. Q92. Coming up, we are going to be talking to the grand prize winner of the Morgan Wallen Contest, the tickets to his show at Hersey, PA. The hotel stay all powered by start of the safe, affordable, convenient way to travel across Stark County and beyond. Someone's phone's about to ring. I'm excited. I hope you are too. Oh, yeah, for that, we got a brand new announcement for you. We got a new contest that we'll be telling you about and kicking off right after that. Also, don't forget in the nine o'clock hour, comedian Ed Ellis will be joining us. He'll be performing at Crackpots Comedy Club in Maslin coming up Friday and Saturday. He's got a couple shows. We'll be talking to him on the phone line, and then we'll be handing out passes to go see him this weekend as well. So we got about a minute left here. Someone did say, uh, uh, we'll never forget the stuffed shells, Christian. Well, how could you? If you were listening that morning, yeah. you'll never look at that Italian dish again uh, the same way. No. My son, four months ago, at the age of 10 months, had his testicles distended uh, of the Akron Children's. And for the recovery, when I see the doctors pull, poke, and prod on them to see if they're okay. Oh, my. That can't be fun. No. I don't care how old you are. you got to know something's not, not fun there. Right. Jake's balls made my day, says the text line. Uh, getting queasy, talking about ball surgery. Well, it's, it's a, it happens. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Back to Red Lobster. My son loved the Cajun chicken Alfredo linguine. Is that one of their big dishes there? Yeah, probably. I love Red Lobster. We go three times a year at least. It's my nine-year-old's favorite restaurant. Finally, somebody taking up for Red Lobster. Ah, uh, man. Stop letting your chick kick you in the nuts, Jake. She can obviously kick. Well, he was little, little. He was little, way yeah. before that. I doubt that's what they do for fun. Red Lobster is a Gucci McDonald's located by the sea. <laughs> wow. I haven't heard that one before. That is funny. That is very funny. Uh, let me see here. Jake, how about... A date at Red Lobster with Star. I don't know. I would go. I don't like seafood, but I would go and get the steak considering how good Christian said it was. I'm telling you. Now, listen, this was not recent, but I got a steak on a whim because it was on the menu and it wasn't seafood. And I was very happily surprised by the quality of steak that I enjoyed at a Red Lobster. By the way, let's check the the poll on X about if we've how we if we've been to Red Lobster the past year. Uh, Nope. Is it 83 percent? Uh, and hell yeah, I have is at 16.7% right now. So go there and vote on our poll on X just, just to see we're trying to take the temperature of where we're at on the whole Red Lobster thing as they might be filing uh, Chapter 11 and there might be some stores closing. And Lauren's 100% correct. They have themselves to blame. <laughs> they do. It was that endless shrimp. <laughs> endless shrimp. You look it up. She's not joking. Uh, we're not joking either when we tell you we're about to be calling the grand prize winner of our Morgan Wallen contest. That's coming up. You're going to hear from the winner. It's Joe right now. End of beginning. It's Q92. And uh, I'm sorry, people are a-holes and run through an emergency scene. Good Lord. Oh, maybe that is the problem. <laughs> well, someone says you're just a cold-hearted bee. Maybe. Maybe. I doubt it. We but... played that this morning earlier. Yeah. You know who sings that song? No. Jet. Sings Cold Heart Bit. 
Oh, really? Yeah, the group Jets. Oh, yeah, that makes sense Not now. to be confused with the group from the 80s, the Jets. You've got it all. <laughs> yeah. You just proved you're going through menopause knowing that song. You just, you just, you just confirmed it with that reference. I love the Jets. You're like Donnie and Marie Osmond, of course. Who's going I'm through menopause? Than you. Who's going through menopause? Not me. <laughs> hey guys, remember Johnny Carson? We'll see. Great doctor. Love. Fun thing. He's from Canfield. Mm -hmm. Married a Jackson girl. Get out of town. We were, we were making small talk at the front desk, and he was saying, and I was like, you got yourself a Jackson girl? Good He's for like, you. He's you like, know, you know about Jackson? I go, do I know about Jackson? <laughs> got you a polar bear wife, huh? Uh, yeah, Real nice go. girl. Pretty. He, well done. Yeah. Well done. Well, you're a doctor, so I mean. <laughs> right. I mean, you kind of put that there. This is Olga. No. It increases your yeah. audience selection. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're, the more higher on the tax bracket, the more likely you are to attract yeah. you know, the opposite sex. Yeah, Either probably. way, I like I said, I I root for Jamie every day. I'm like three, two promotions, maybe one more promotion away from being a stay at home dad. She better slow her roll. I'm telling you, she just got this one. But I I mean, know. I'm like, come on, come on. I will gladly take that damn kid to school every day. Gladly put on. I, it's a dream. I. Put listen, on Sports Center and, and, I hear and what you're do, saying. do laundry while I'm listening to sports talk, mop the floors. That ha It'll be Danny Tanner Central when you come to my I, house. You know what? I hear what you're saying, and I think it's a wonderful dream. However, I will caution you because I have a friend whose husband did that. And got very burnt out very quick. He was very kids? lonely. Three. So we had to get three kids up every day, three kids to school. Yes. And they did it on up. the heels of having their third child. Like they had had the other oh, two. Oh, my God. So we had a newborn. Uh, ish when she went back to work, she took extra time off. So I think she like when she went back to work, the well, you, the youngest was around five months. You you can't leave a five month old. I can't leave a seventh month old unattended forever. Well, I understand that, but they're also not mobile either. So you can still do what you need to do and have them there in their bouncer or their swing or so close. I'm getting it's crazy. He's so close. Yeah, I think I think he'll be crawling back. Is there. he doing the rock? Where's that guy? I want to go. No, he's. I want to go. I don't and, know how and he can turn himself around 360. Like yeah. he can totally turn himself around, but he still just can't. And I, and I just, I know when he figures it out, he's gone. Oh, yeah, I won't be long. He's just gone. Yep. And, it'll be and usually else. once they become mobile, they don't want to be held very often. Well, I like holding them. So you're tough luck. <laughs> I like holding my kids. That's I knew that. That's why I brought that up. I was just trying to prepare you for the fact that once they're mobile, they're like, let me down. Love it. Love it. Love it. I did get yelled at a few times for uh, being too loud during the bears game last night. Well, if he was asleep, everybody wanted to sleep. At one point, she was like, do it again. It's like, watch it in the living room. <laughs> it's like, wow. all right. All right. You ever been put in the friend zone, Jake? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, lots of times. I'm quite familiar with when, that. When did you find out you were in the friend zone? Pretty much right away. Right away? How, what's a key to you? How do you know? Uh, I don't know. They don't show interest. They <laughs> don't want anything to do with you. Or they might be in a relationship already. That, well, the, well now that, yeah. that. See, I don't consider that friend zone. I just yeah, consider that like yeah, right. she's dating someone. Yeah. But it, it's been there. I saw an article on uh, eight reasons why girls friend zone guy. And we all know, guys, friend zone is a terrible place to be. If you like a girl. It's, right. It's a t I like you. You're a buddy. Oh. Hmm. Oh. I mean, in your head, you just hear. No! No! Oh, you said buddy? Did you call me buddy? Oh, son of a bee stick. It, we've oh. all been there. Well, maybe some of you have. A lot of you have realized, you know, oh no, oh no, I'm I'm the friend. I think a good a good uh, a good sign is when she's telling you about other boys. She likes. yeah, that's 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 you need to realize. That oh, yeah. I'm the guy you talk to about the guys. 
Oh, damn. Yeah. Oh, no. I, I found an article of eight reasons why girls friend zone guys. And listen, I always say, too, you're entitled. Just because someone likes you doesn't mean you have to like them back. Right. I've never felt that way. I, I don't think it's rude. If I'm like, I like you, I don't like you that way. Hey, here on today's hit music Q92. Christian Lauren Jake here with you. Hanging out. 330 450 9292 is the phone number. The text line 330 269 9292. Thanks for having us on your radio. Streaming us at q92radio.com. Or if you're watching on YouTube, Facebook, or X, good morning. Thank you for checking out the Q92 morning show. Coming up here in a few minutes, we have a brand new contest to announce. A new year included. We'll tell you what it is. We'll tell you how you can win it. And also coming up here in a few minutes, we'll be telling you about the winner of our Morgan Wallen contest to see him in Hershey, PA. Thursday, May 9th with the hotel stay. This contest has been powered by Starter, the safe, affordable, convenient way to travel across Stark County and beyond. That's all coming up this hour. Right now it is Morgan Wallen. A little Dirk and stand by me on Q92. <laughs> All right. Is complimenting hair creepy? That's a question I posed. What? That's a question that Clint posed yeah. when he walked in here. Yeah. That's what I've, we've been talking about. We're going to talk about what Clint said. Yeah. So he came in here and he was telling us a story about someone complimenting someone's hair. Yeah. Saying, you know, I don't mean to be creepy, but I really like your hair. Well, he asked me, he said, does that creep you out? Because he said, your hair looks nice today. Maybe I shouldn't yeah. say that. Is that creepy? Does that creep you out? And I said, no. We know Clint really well. Right. So it doesn't doesn't bother me at all. But the question was then posed. At what point is complimenting a woman in public not flattering, but yet then creepy? I remember, and this is back in the 1900s, uh, a guy I worked with. I uh, was no longer with us. Yeah. Rest easy. King. Um, but he... Um, we we're sitting one day in in the studio talking, going over what we're going to do on the show. And um, a sales girl walked in. Now, this sales girl was a very beautiful. She was a pretty gal. Yes. Okay. I, I have no doubt. If she was like, hi, can I talk about your business and advertising? The, the, the owner would be like, indeed, you can. And uh, she always dressed nice. And uh, she did. She had... She had, a, she had nice legs. And you know me. I'm a leg, yes. I'm a legs ass guy. Okay. So you were oogling her too in the office. <laughs> then yes. Okay. Yes, I was. Uh, and this is back in my Youngstown days. Um, she walked in one day to ask a sales question about some sponsorship, things like that. And I'll never, I will never forget this. We're sitting there and we're all talking. And uh, the gentleman, the, the older gentleman at the time, he says, you know, I got to tell you. He goes, I just got to tell you, you've got an incredible set of legs. And, and, and in my head, no, no, I knew back. This is 1900s now. Oh, no, this is 2000. This is Could two, you hear the clack of HR's heels coming down the hallway? 2002, I'm like, no, no. Of course, we're supposed to wait till she leaves the room to say that to each other. <laughs> I don't think we say it to her. Right. Not at work. Not now. 
and she was very nice about it. And you could tell it was a little like, I, I'm sorry, but it she probably was, took her by surprise. Yeah. And he, but here's the thing I knew that the guy was not trying to be perverted. I know you're like, oh, sure. I'm telling you, I knew the man. He wasn't, he thought, now he was older, like he was in his 60s. At the time, she's in her twenties. I guess maybe that. From a, maybe from a different. A little. But I'm saying maybe from a different generation. Yeah. Maybe then that was seen as okay. I don't know. This was way before now, where you say hi to someone like, "Oh God, did I offend you?" Right. Good morning. Excuse me. Right. Damn it. Um. But yeah, I'll never forget that. You've got a gr- incredible set of legs. Stand by me right here on today's hit music Q92. And a big congratulations to our grand prize winner of the Morgan Wallet tickets to go see him in Hershey, PA with the hotel stay. All brought to you by our friends at Sarda. And our winner is Rachel Barrett from Denison, Ohio. Rachel Bennett, congratulations. Barrett. What a prize to win. Yeah, Rachel Barrett. Yeah, what did I say? Bennett. Rachel Benoit, you're the winner. <laughs> You know Rachel, funny? if you're listening right now, call us back. Rachel Barrett, answer your damn phone. <laughs> we want to send you to see Morgan Wallen. I've, I've thought, you know, in my in my, in my Grinch when I'm in my Grinch mood. Yeah, Carmen wants to say, if you don't answer, you know what? But then you know what's going to happen the first time I do that. Well, Kim, like my grandma died. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> and not, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was and I'm like, the well, hospital. you still should have answered. <laughs> yeah, right. Is it Morgan or Grandma? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make the choice, lady. Pop Pop's gone. Morgan's gonna be in Hershey. What do you want to see? Right. So I I'm, I know that would bite me in the ass, but yeah. No, yeah. I've had that knee jerk reaction too. But like, I mean, how you not answer? Things happen. We tell you when we're calling. I know. Be listening. I I have the same line every week. Yeah. Be listening around eight o'clock. If your phone rings and pick That's up. Same thing I say when I hang up with somebody. If your phone rings at eight o'clock. It's probably good news. Right. That's usually what I say. Yeah. And they go okay. Yeah. But maybe you're at work. Maybe you have. Maybe you're pooping. I don't. Maybe know. she's up with a toddler that's puking. There you you go. have no idea. I'm saying the first time we go, you know what? If you don't answer, we move on. It'll bite us in the ass so hard. Maybe she had endless shrimp at Red Lobster last night. <laughs> she's not feeling well this morning. She's with her son, he's, he's getting his his testicles distended. You know? <laughs> who, who knows what could be happening? Who knows? All right. When one contest ends, another one begins. And uh, we got another one. I, we did this last year, and it, and it was really cool, and people really were into yeah. it. And uh, we're doing it again uh, this year. It is springtime. This is that first week we've really getting that taste of what's to come as far as the end of spring and, and summer. And a lot of you guys love to be outdoors and do things. So uh, we teamed up with, with some friends of ours again. Yeah, our friends over at Stark Parks, your destination for summer fun. We're giving away a pair of kayaks, friends. Two kayaks. Not one, but two. So you can take your boyfriend or your husband or just a friend. You don't have to go by yourself. But here, listen, it's so much fun. On a Saturday, the sun's shining. Get that kayak in the fun water. Fact, I have never kayaked. Really? Never. Canoed? Mm, what? Have you ever tubed? Once. Like in the water, like behind a boat? Or like, like where like well, they try to throw you off. Okay, that's different. That's that's different. No, this is like floating down the road. I've done that. I've and done it's that too. Scared me to death. It, it's fun until you skid across the water and get and fly off. Beat out of you. Right. Yeah. Um. And then for some reason you feel like you're gonna die. After. Like there's yeah. that one moment. Like when do you're I have floating. internal bleeding? Yeah. Like am I all right? Are there sharks here in this lake? Like <laughs> what is that? I felt something. It's a piranha. Come get me! Come get me! There's <laughs> piranha at Lake Melton. I have to get out of here. Yeah. And like, do they know I fell off? Are they coming back? Can I tell like, you? It's the funniest thing in the world. My son's in school now. Like, well, we used to take him to the river, to the lake, or anything like that, and he would swim. He would always be paranoid that like a fish was gonna like go off his trunk shorts. <laughs> Listen, that man. <laughs> and visit, you know, like interfere with the whole stuffed shell situation or something like that. Well, yeah, listen, I, I can't I can't say I blame him for that. Yeah. I, I kind of get it. Yeah. I kind of get it. Jake, you ever been kayaking? Yes. We go every year. Our kids are pretty good in the water. You enjoy it? Yeah. Um, I don't go often because I don't have one, but I, I usually go stand up paddle boarding with my friends. So okay. stand up pat now I've done the paddle boat. Okay, that doesn't even, that's not oh, yes. I think that's pretty. No. It's water themed. Pretty much a sailor at this point. Not. <laughs> you can do it in a big pool at 
Sluggers and putters, okay? Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Someone said, pick another finalist laughing emoji. No, nope, I'm telling you, it'll bite me in the ass. The day I decide to do that, I'll be made to feel so terrible. Yeah. No, I'm I sorry, get my that. My family's being attacked by bears. But listen, it's so oh. much fun to, to go kayaking with your friends. Grab a life jacket and just float down the river. Take some drinks with you. I watch people kayak. Oh, it's so much fun. Kayak I don't maybe. like, I mean, I like kayaking. I like canoeing better. Because that, like, the opening's bigger to get into the boat, like, and you can like put your bag and a cooler and look at kayaks. Very easy to tip over. Yeah, that was the other thing I was gonna say. But I didn't yeah. want to be like, I stuck at it, so that's what happens. Yeah, but that is indeed. It looks like you're fine once you get in, but uh, it looks like getting in and getting out could be very uh, difficult. But if you're just floating and stuff, and you're not going crazy over rapids or anything like that. You're fine. Someone said, "Go cabrewing." I've heard of that. That's that's the way I've to go. So that's the new contest with our friends at Stock Parks. We're giving away two kayaks to a local listener at this radio station. Again, not a national contest, not a regional contest. This is someone's going to win it from here, just like a young lady from Denison's on her way to see Morgan Wallen. Someone that lives around here is going to win these two kayaks and have to come down here and figure out how to get two kayaks home. Well, they did it last year. You do it like Cali so style where you strap it to the hood of your car. Show up in your Chevette. Be like, well, how am I gonna? I don't know, but I want to watch one of those little smart cars, like what John used to drive to work. <laughs> you'd think there was an open parking spot, and you'd be like, like "Dang it, oh, John's no, in there!" It's just his damn car. That's all that is. So there you go. We're gonna get our first finalist for this contest uh, this hour, but also we're gonna get a finalist at the end of the show uh, by going over to the live video feed on YouTube, Facebook, or X, clicking the like button. And what do we put in the in the comment section today? Oh, uh, just do the little boat emoji. There's like a little uh, a little person in a boat or there's a regular boat. Like, just put a boat emoji in there. Put the boat emoji in there. Do it right now. I want to see those emojis of the boat filling up the comment section. We'll pick one of you at the end of the show. Make you a finalist as well. Forecast from Mark Johnson coming up. It's you. <laughs> So how about this? Yesterday, I was falsely accused of a crime. Okay, but to be fair, like, I actually almost believed it for a second. I was like, and if that's the case, I was a little, like, impressed by you. Because <laughs> I'm like, how does fair this, enough. how would this ever even I, have, I you don't. have globally affected the plumbing of the world? <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, here's the short of it, folks. Uh, I went home yesterday and I decided to take a poo. Like you do. Uh, nothing felt different. It didn't feel any more impressive than any other bowel movement that I've had over the years. It was just a normal year. day. Was normal poo to me, actually good consistency. It looked Doing healthy. Your post-work poo. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I flushed said poo and, and went about my day. Didn't think anything of it. <laughs> Until... Uh, later on, I went to the sink and uh, we had no water pressure. Like, so... I go, you know, and I'm like, we have no water in the house. And I go, uh, Jamie, because uh, she's the man of the house that fixes things. I go, uh, Jamie, there's there's no water coming out of the, uh, the sink. I hear, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, there's, there, there's no water coming out of the sink. Right, which is the problem. And uh, she begins to tell me that uh, one of my poos is turtle heading. Ew. It must not have went all the way. It clogged the toilet. You what, clogged. What she, what she believes that, that, you know, that it didn't go all the way and that maybe it clogged it. And we're looking and I, I, I grabbed the plunger. I did some plunge and the little guy didn't want to come out. It, I mean, it was like Groundhog Day. And he didn't want to come out and see a shadow. But I could see him only from an angle. Kind of had to stand and do it to see him. You know what I mean? Sure. Just barely. Kind of like if you were in an aquarium and the eel is in the, you know what I mean? I got it. Okay. I just want to make sure. Jake, you got the visual? I got it. All right. <laughs> so we go around, we're looking around the house. There is no water in the entire house. And now I'm being accused by my fiance, who I love, that I have clogged the toilet so terribly <laughs> that all water to our house has been stopped. Because she Googled it and it did say a clogged toilet, although not every time, can in fact could shut down all water in your house. Okay. When I first saw your status, I was like, 
you even do that? No. He's being exa- he's exaggerating. So. That can't happen. And then, like, you kind of have this moment of, like, can you? <laughs> like, no, it's, I, not, it's not necessarily common, common, but it can happen. Okay. So now I'm sitting out there, you know, playing with my son, realizing, like, has my... P- Find a rewarding career close to home at Kimball. You'll find outstanding benefits, a supportive team, and opportunities for career growth. Working for a local family company really makes a difference. Apply today. Q92. Dry weather for your Thursday will warm you up to around 67 degrees for the high today. Some sunshine mixing with clouds. Overnight, the rain showers return after midnight. Maybe a rumble of thunder, Arlo 54. I am Mark J. Weather from News 5. Eight twenty-four, right here on today's hit music Q ninety-two. We're six minutes away from a look at sports. Christian, Lauren, Jake here. Just announced our brand new contest. We're giving away a pair of kayaks. 
just in time for the summer. This contest powered by our friends at Stark Parks. So, those are for the cue to call. You're going to hear it this hour. Next hour, when you hear it, be call number 10. You'll be in the running for a chance to win two kayaks. We give these actually away next Thursday. So. I love this prize. Because not everybody, I mean, not everybody likes certain artists or anything like that. So, I like that we mix it up sometimes with things that, like, anybody can do. Right. You know what I mean? All right. Take well, the want, fam. Well, I want to give away a pony and a helicopter. We did the give away the pony in a way. Helicopter in a way. dream still out there. Are you a Costco fan? Oh, You're a Costco member. You have no idea. Yes. What the hell is going on with these gold bars? I don't even know what you're talking about. It's been all over. Costco is selling as much as 20, 200 million in gold bars monthly. Wells Fargo says estimate. You can buy a gold bar at Costco. I've never seen them at my Costco. Maybe it's because I'm always like getting samples. Gold's returned into money for Costco where yellow metal sales began last year have turned into a cash cow. For Costco, I'm getting this from CNBC.com. Uh, in fact, sales are so brisk, the analyst at Wells Fargo expect revenue may now be running at 100 to 2 million, 200 million dollars a month. What? Okay, so what? I I came from a company that used to sell. I mean, they, of course, m uh, many many things. We had various departments, but they would sell gold bars. And they were very popular because people look at them as a way to invest. Well, they're selling one ounce bars made of nearly pure 24 karat gold. While the price is not disclosed online to non-members, it's estimated the product generally sells for about 2% above the spot price, which uh, as of Tuesday morning was around $2,300 an ounce. Wow. That would put the price of Costco's to just more than $2,400. Wow. But they're selling out. They're selling them. Well, people are investing. That's how they're investing. Who the hell's going to Costco to drop $2,400? I don't know. Well, not on gold bars, but I could kill $2,400 pretty and quickly in a Costco. Who the hell is like, in Costco, like, you know, we need to sell gold bars. Gold bars. I'll tell you what. I never go to Costco when they're not busy. And it's a big old club it's in a just big an odd parking lot. Thing for me to to read and keep seeing on TikTok and on you know what I mean all the websites I'm on to see. Yeah, has anybody got, bought a gold bar? I did twenty four hundred bucks. I guess you hope it, it's worth a lot more. I see those late night infomercials about buying gold. Well, yeah. Buy gold now before the economy crashes. We've got twenty four karat gold yeah. ingots. You can buy them now, and you'll never be poor. So, um, there's no. even a picture of the gold, but you haven't seen these when you've gone. No, no, I have not seen these. I don't even know where they would keep them in the club because it's not like they have like a jewelry case. You know what I mean? Where they would lock it up. Maybe you have to go to customer service and ask like to buy password. them. Not password. Maybe they don't want, you don't think people would try to run out with those. You see these crazies that just steal stuff. I know, but why couldn't you just walk up to the customer service counter and be like, I'd like to buy a gold bar. Why do you have to be like Dolly Parton? Like a code word, you know what I mean? Like the fox lost the eagle. Oh, okay. oh, uh, twenty four hundred dollars. Moments, please. I'll be right with you. Do you have twenty four hundred dollars? I right. do. You know what I mean? I just that's crazy to me. There's Are there. you guys members of Costco? I am not. There's okay. not one anywhere. Why? Oh, I was gonna There's say not one. I'm not driving an hour. I'm so sorry. You guys don't have one. Now that we have one, I don't know if I could survive without one. I mean, I'm there all of the time. Yeah. If you watch the video live stream, literally, I am constantly drinking something during the morning show, whether it's coffee or my protein shakes or my Waterloo. Like, all of it comes from Costco. All of it. Well, if you saved that money, you could get a gold bar. Well, but then I wouldn't have my protein shakes and my water. and. But who knows what it could be worth it one day. I understand that. It's like got this, like, lady with a blindfold on. And, like, it's very interesting, the actual gold bar. Well, Kareen's right. A lot of people think the currency is going to change. They're going to get rid of, like, the penny. And you know what I mean? Like, they're going to make changes to our financial system and structure and how we pay. So she thinks people are just planning ahead and investing and doing it in gold. Because gold is something that every, that language everybody speaks. Well, if you were thinking, if you're on the fence about getting a Costco membership and gold is what you'd like, Head on over to Costco, get a if membership, you, and then 2400 bucks. Can I tell you, at our local club, we have the sweetest man and his wife that give out samples. 
and he sings. He's like the Costco crooner. And he's, uh, no. he's really good. He's really good. Well, I'd rather deal with that than when you go in those stores and that cell phone guy that tries oh to talk Oh, my to gosh. You. Well, no matter what it I is. I don't care what you are. I'm like, oh, we already have it. And I keep walking. <laughs> I, it could be. I don't care what the product is. I'm like, I have that. Yeah, no, I have you guys. Right. Yeah. They're, they're like, I, I can't stand it. They don't do that at Costco. No one walks up to you and is like, no. what's your cable? What's your TV? Like, they have T-Mobile in the front of the store, but they've never said a word to me. Never. Yeah, set up. I'll come to you. Like, I love Sam's Club, too. Sam's Club is my other go-to. The only thing I don't like is T-Mobile's right there. They stop you. Then you usually have somebody to talk to you about your gas aggregate, and they stop you. You know what I mean? Like, it's constant. Just like the strip club when I used to go. You don't need to come up to me. Are if you? I want you, I'll go up to you. If I want your product, I'll come to you. Very different. I hate it. Very different kinds no, same of clubs. Thing. When you walk in the mall, they're like, <laughs> oh, do you want to look beautiful? Do you want your air? And you're no, no. I would come to you. If I want your product, I'll come to you and say, can you make me look beautiful? Can you make my skin softer? I cannot believe you are I, comparing Christie's it's the same to thing. Costco and Sam's. If I sit down at Christie's with a, a Heineken, I don't need bubbles to come up to me. If I want to dance from bubbles, I'll go to you bubbles. But see, that's the difference. If I'm in Costco, I want the Costco crooner to let me know where he's at so I can go find his samples. Well, now, if they had someone singing at Christie's, would you like a dance? I'd be like, no. <laughs> Thank you. So, that's different. You're ridiculous. But when, you, when, you, when bubbles just comes up to you, want to dance? Like, or that guy at the mall, like, what is it? Crimson in your face? I'm like, no. Why is she I, talking so aggressively? I don't want, no, I will come to you. I have always hated that no matter what the product is. Do you want to look beautiful? No. Not really. <laughs> not really. I got too much going on. Let's take a look at sports. It's Q92. It's a good analogy. <laughs> This is a Q92 Sports Break with Christian Bigglesworth on Q92. The Guardians lost to the Red Sox last night 2-0. They're now 12-6 and on the season. They'll play Boston again today. First pitch is 1.35 p.m. Carlos Carrasco will be on the mound for the Guardians. The Akron Rubber Ducks lost to Erie last night 4-0. They're now 6-5 and on the year. They'll play Erie again tonight, 6.35 p.m. at Canal Park. And finally, NBA play-in tournament action last night. The Sixers beat the Heat 105-104, and the Bulls beat the Hawks 131-116. to That's a look at sports right here on today's Hit Music Q92. promotions, things like that. Probably didn't. I think you ever had a teacher that just didn't like you? I can't imagine. Mm. I don't know. I don't know if Mr. Belts didn't like me, but he certainly had no problem mispronouncing my name. He might not have liked me. He might have just thought, you know what? I don't like this kid. I'm trying to think. Jake, is there a teacher you think maybe didn't yes. like you? <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> Why don't you think they liked you? Is there you? more than one? <laughs> no, it was a history teacher, uh, okay. and he liked all the sports people because he was a, bas- or a baseball coach. Gotcha. Uh, and he did not like me. And he was because he would always like check her homework, but he would always like just like go over and glance and make sure you did it. Yeah. But every time he got to me, he would pick it up and thoroughly examine it to make sure that I did it. But everybody else was like, oh, yeah, you're good, John. You know, Mark, you're good. Jake, let me see that. And he would like pick it up and like examine it. And he made me redo things several times. And I well, are you, are I, you saying the athletes got to do whatever they wanted? No, they didn't get to do whatever they wanted, but they certainly had it easier. Yeah, and so, and so did the other kids. I don't, I don't know. He just had it out for me. He did not like me every day. Well, that sucks. Oh, is he still there? Uh, I think so. I don't know. You want to give him a shout out? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm okay with it. Okay. I said Mr. Belt. Oh, true. I don't know where he's at now. I don't know where he's at, but it was Mr. Gamble. Yeah.
They always tell you I can't tell if my uh Still to come this hour, getting our very first finalists for a chance to win a pair of kayaks just in time for the summer with our friends at Stark Parks. When you hear the cue to call, be caller number 10. You'll be finalist number one. We're going to get a finalist, two finalists in the 9 o'clock hour, one with the cue to call and one for someone that goes over to the live video feed of the morning show on YouTube, Facebook, and X, clicks the like button, and puts the boat emoji in the comments section. Now, some of you on Facebook, we made a post about the new contest. You're putting your... Uh, your boat emojis there. That's you, not where it goes. You got to put them to the live video feed of the morning show. Yeah, go look for Christian and Jake and I live in studio. You'll see us talking. So if you've done that on accident, which I get, could be I could see where you'd look there. And be like, oh, there it is. Yeah. But that's not where you got to put it to become a finalist or have a chance. So you want to go down to the live video feed of the morning show, like that post, and put your uh, emoji there. So run along, do that now. And uh, so we just want to make sure you have a, a chance. Yeah, and that you actually get entered. Uh, someone said, I have certain routes I take in Sam's Club to avoid these people. I just want to buy my crap in peace. I know. That's what I wish that they understood, like the clubs themselves. And I know that it probably doesn't come like at the local level. It comes like from corporate because they probably get a kickback from whatever those companies are able to sell to Sam's Club employees. But mm -hmm. it is so annoying. Any day, if I'm in a if I'm in a hurry and I know that I can get the same thing at Costco, I'm going to Costco over Sam's because I don't get bothered at Costco. Uh, the gas people got me at Sam's on the text line. Still don't know what I signed. Oh no! <laughs> I told you they're sneaky. Oh, no. and they're super friendly, and it's like if you're like me, you have social not social anxiety, but like you know you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, so you're just like super sweet and super. And so then I find myself like agreeing to things that I normally wouldn't agree to just because I want to get out of the situation. Mm -hmm. There was, um, it's, it's awful. There was a, we went to Sam's last time to get stuff for Jimmy's birthday party. Um, there was a lady there with the gas lady was there. Yeah. And just from walking by twice, she was very good. She was very good. And she, I had mean, you somebody, gotta be, she had a couple reeled in as I was walking by the second time. I mean, that's essentially like this, the equivalent of walking door to door, selling a vacuum or encyclopedias back what, in the day. If I was like hiring for that position, I'd want that girl in a heartbeat. Yeah, she was good. She was confident. She was talking as if she was like doing them a favor. Like she just everything about her. I'm like, oh, I'll bet she rakes in the big good. bucks. Yeah, she wasn't like, uh, sir, would you like to talk about gas? Right. Okay. Have a good day. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Because uh, that'd be me. I'd be like, sir, no, you know what? Fine. I'm sorry. Here's a dollar. Oh, good. <laughs> I would stop talking. This girl was awesome. Get you something nice at the checkout. And she had a couple, and I was get like, a polar pop. I'm like, listen, I don't know if she's helping you or not, but you're done. <laughs> She has got you because they both were like, oh, oh, I was like, oh, oh, no. I mean, I'm not saying it's a scam necessarily. I'm just saying I don't want to deal with it. Well, I would like to think that Sam's Club would screen the people that they allow in the club to yeah. sell to their members. Yeah. But like one's enough. One's bad enough. Two is way overkill. So when you go into our Sam's Club and you make a hard right, like there's like a jewelry counter and then it then it begins. So it's almost like you have to cut through TVs and electronics to go up the back wall to get back to That's where they're always at in mine in Borman on they're the right by the, by the TVs. Yeah, no, you got to like go behind that to to go around them. Yeah, they're so you you hook that left, and it's funny. It's almost like you know, like a cop hides behind like a tree or a sign. You don't see him, do you take the corner? Oh, I know, and then you're screwed. Yeah, so if you're like you walk right into if them. you're not thinking ahead of time, you're just like doop, 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 doop. yeah. You hook a left, boom. What's your cell phone? <laughs> Yeah. Whatever you have is what I have. Are you lying? I am. Bye. Right. Like, I'm absolutely lying. Well, and then I always feel bad for them because I know they have to make a living. They're doing a job. Exactly. And it's got to be awkward for them, too. But, like, do they know how much I don't want to talk to them? Like, I feel bad about it. But I really don't. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't either. Yeah. They might be the most wonderful people in the world. Right. I have literally, I have negative one interest. Yeah. Percent interest in talking Same. to you about whatever. 
unless they started doing stuff that like really interests me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I, cell, we all have cell phones already. Oh yeah, we all have. Well, they want to try and switch you to their service because yeah. it's better than everybody else's, and you can get a free phone. But forget the people that are already on your plan. You'll you won't give them a free phone just because they've stayed with you for sixteen years. It'd be cool. They like, like I like the people. With, oh, here's a meatball. <gasps> Thank you. Yes, the sample people are totally fine. They're there with a service that everybody can appreciate because it's food and everybody loves food. Nobody's going to complain about that. Just they ignore might them, LOL. I feel that's rude. I, I do, too. I don't like to just walk by and ignore them. What about the guys that go on the um, hoverboards or the little, um, not in the Sam's Club, but in your neighborhood that try and sell you, like, pest control or I've lawn never stuff? I've seen that. Hoverboard you, guys going door to door. It's like I don't know if it's a hoverboard or it's like it has support for the knees. Have you do you know what those are, Jake? Yeah, they're like little motorized unicycle things. Kind of, yeah. I think that's what they're called, but they're yeah. That's weird. Yeah, they come to our there house. There was a group when I lived in Alliance. Uh these boys, they were all in uh uh black pants, white short sleeve button ups and ties. And they would walk up and down the street and go door to door. I assume it was Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints. Could have been. Could have been. Luckily, they they went. They never actually came to my door. I almost feel like we need to stop with the door-to-door -door visits on anything anymore. With the whole, you can defend your land, and people are a little castle doctrine. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, like I a... fear for people's safety when I see them out and about, and I'm like, oh, oh, oh I hope you don't go to their house. Cause... Yeah, don't knock there. Right. <laughs> I almost feel like stopping and rolling my window, and I'd be like, listen, I wouldn't stop there. That one, six houses down on the left. No, nah, I wouldn't go there either. Crazy. Right. Crazy. Uh, coming up, Q2 call to win a pair of kayaks for the summer from Stark Parts. Listen for it. It's coming up. Spence and Boone, beautiful things on Q. <laughs> Met my wife on Bumble in 2017. Jake reminds me of the I Like Turtles kid for some reason. <laughs> Good morning, random <laughs> Swifty girl here. Good morning. Hope you all have a great day. Thank you. Good morning from dental assistant Kayla. Have a great day. You have a great day, Kayla. Okay, back to your... Uh, so you were on every dating app, which we've yeah. talked about. This isn't yeah, necessarily this, yeah. new. I'm, right. I know. I realize we're... But I'm just curious. Why Why was Tinder one you were... Like, out of all of them, all, like, why was Tinder one you're like, you know what? I'm not doing that one. I'm curious why that one was the no. Well, I think there's two real reasons. Reason one, uh, I just I knew what Tinder was. I think I was looking for something more than just a booty Tinder. Call. Yeah. Right. Um, Were you ever just looking for that? Not really. Like, uh, look at you. Something I'm in my head. So proud of like, you. Like something in my head was like, you, you know, that'd be fun, but <laughs> yeah, 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 it would. But you it'd know, be fun yes. if we could do it again. <laughs> yeah, it'd be, but, it'd be more than once. Yeah. yeah, but like, I it, it just I just wanted you know a relationship. But another reason was I had an ex that was on Tinder. Okay. And I just didn't want her to know that like, I was on there. Like, what if you matched? Yeah, like, I don't, well, I don't think she would have matched with me, but she was also on in, for, like, different reasons. Like, she would swipe and, like, make fun of guys. Like, she uh -huh. would, like, you know, even, like, when she was in a relationship, like, she would still be on it. Whoa. Not, Not to, like... Wow. Wow. <laughs> what did you just say? I think I think we were dating and she was still on it, but she wasn't like actively like looking for anybody. But she was just like no, and, like, no! Yeah, Jake, I mean that that Jake. Do you know what color that flag is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Okay. Do you know how hard Christian's waving it right now? Okay. Yeah, I I'm aware. Don't okay. worry. That is she still on it? I have no idea. I haven't talked to her in years. I think we should ask. I haven't talked to her. I that was that relationship lasted like maybe weeks. Could you find it was oh, no, this isn't star. No, 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 oh, no, no. Jesus Christ. No, he said like, it was another relationship. Yeah, I no. was like, what are we doing here? No, 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 no. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We're back. Music's back. Okay, all right. Ooh. I thought you were telling me Star's still on No, Bumble. no, 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 no. I was like, this cannot be happening. My heart almost stopped. No, if it was her, I would have been like, you need to bring her in again. I need to talk to her. This is no good. Yeah, well, no, yeah. If it, I, Rule of thumb. Uh, I think if uh, the girl or guy you're dating is still on dating apps after you. Benson Boone, beautiful things right here on today's Zip Music Q92. <laughs> 
That is your cue to call. Want to win a pair of kayaks for this summer thanks to our friends at Stark Parks? Well, you can't win unless you're a finalist, and we're getting our very first one right now. 330-450-9292. Caller 10. You'll be our first kayak finalist. Good luck. Do women want gentlemen, or uh, don't you still want the bad boys? I mean, I do I don't know about a bad man? boy, but you don't want a pushover either. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I would really like you girls just to do that. Text your man that, and then text back whatever the hell uh, they write back. I'm just curious, or just tell us what he what he wrote back. I'm very curious. I mean, I guess that would be a that would be a good compliment to get, I suppose. Should I add a heart emoji? No, don't overdo it. No, okay. Don't overdo. It. If he's listening, this is going to work. He's not listening. Come about side chicks? And I asked the question, who's been a side chick, whether you knew you were or found out you were? Because you brought up a good point. There's some girls that are willingly. Like you said, they just want yeah. to use the guy for what they want to use the guy for. That's if right. He, if he wants to roll the dice on his relationship, that's on him. Mm -hmm. You're the one cheating, not me. Yeah, he is the one who has a lot to lose. You know what I'm saying? So uh, some of you text in. I'm about to read those, but I want to find if your girl only knew. That's my. That's, that's the song you got to play, right? By Aaliyah. Or it wasn't it. me. <laughs> because I can never uh, spell Aaliyah. But I found it. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. yeah. Um, Aaliyah was go. so good. Yeah. So good. Uh, I was one, a side chick, for over a year and did not know I was. Oh, the that girl, really is the Carly Pierce song. The girl teamed up with me, and we dumped him together. That Good was over 18 years ago, and me and that girl are still friends. Well, how's about that? What a funny story to tell, though, later. Still friends. Yeah. Good for you. That's fantastic. Uh, let me see here. Uh, oh, man. Some of you sent some stuff in, but you also sent other stuff in, and because of Google and our text line, it buries them. There's one. I didn't touch anything. Uh, no, if you send a new one, it defaults back to the original text you sent. Every Only after time. it's been opened. You hate it. I know. Uh, I was a side chick because I found out my boyfriend at the time had another girlfriend without me knowing. So I got back at him by dating his best friend. And long story short, I got pregnant with his best friend. And looking back at it now, it was supposed to be to make him, my ex-boyfriend, jealous. And it turns out it failed. That's a hell of a backfire. Yeah. And now there's a baby. I showed you. Find a rewarding career close to home at Kimball. You'll find outstanding benefits, a supportive team, and opportunities for career growth. Working for a local family company really makes a difference. Apply today.
Dry weather for your Thursday will warm you up to around 67 degrees for the high today. Some sunshine mixing with clouds. Overnight, the rain showers return after midnight. Maybe a rumble of thunder, our low 54. I am Mark J. Weather from News 5. Congrats to our newest Q92 finalists. Guess congratulations are in order. Q92, hello, who is this? Jen. Hey, Jen, where are you calling from this morning? Uh, Cuyahoga Falls. All right, congratulations, Jen. You're caller number 10. You're our first finalist. All right, awesome. Congratulations, Jen. You want to hit the uh, open water with a pair of kayaks this summer? Heck yes. All right, well, you're in the running. You could just be doing that courtesy of Q92 and our friends at Stark Parks. Tell everybody your favorite station, making you a finalist. Q92. I've been to weddings where I wasn't allowed to bring a date. And that to me is wrong. I didn't like that. I felt, to be honest, I mean, I was, I love that I was there, but I felt, I, I was mad. We that, just, we I just had felt, that happen last summer. I wasn't mad. I just felt dumb. Does that make sense? Yes. I wasn't mad. I get it. You have rules. There's a budget. I just felt dumb. My nephew is 25 years old and was invited to a wedding. Uh, that we were all invited to as well. And he has a girlfriend. And they didn't just start dating. Yeah. And she was not included on the invitation. It was to the point where we had to, like, speak up and be like, if you want him there, he's bringing her. Yeah. Like I said, I understand you paper plate. I understand there's a butt. So I, I get. But again, I wasn't mad. I don't even remember. Didn't plan for that. I was. I don't even remember whose wedding it was. Be don't be that. a rude dude. Plan for it and make sure that you can accommodate things. You know what's funny though, I, it, I, if I'm remembering this right, I don't think I got that I didn't have a plus one. I think I asked someone to go and I had a date and I had to call her back and be like, I, you can't come. I. It was probably me. I probably read it oh, wrong. Oh boy. Because the, the the thing didn't say. Still embarrassing. Plus guess. Yeah. I was like, hey, uh, that wedding I asked you to this weekend. Uh, don't worry about it. Here's the other thing. It is I, I, that I wish people understood. It is not a privilege for me to come to your wedding. It's an honor for me to be there to support you. We recently had an experience where everybody was kind of treated like, you should want to be here. This is, are you kidding? You're lucky you were invited. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And no, I'm like, yeah. that's not what this should be about. This should be about celebrating your love and your union and wanting those that love you there to support you. Yeah. No, I get it. I see more texts coming in. I've been to weddings where I wasn't allowed to bring a date. And that to me is wrong. I didn't like that. I felt, 
to be honest. I mean, I was I love that I was there, but I felt I, I was mad. We that, just I we just had felt, that happen last summer. I wasn't mad. I just felt dumb. Does that make sense? Yes. I wasn't mad. I get it. You have rules. There's a budget. I just felt dumb. My nephew is 25 years old and was invited to a wedding uh, that we were all invited to as well. And he has a girlfriend. And they didn't just start dating. Yeah. And she was not included on the invitation. It was to the point where we had to, like, speak up and be like, if you want him there, he's bringing her. Yeah. Like I said, I understand you paper plate. I understand there's a butt. So I, I get. But again, I wasn't mad. I don't even remember. Didn't plan for that. I was. I don't even remember whose wedding it was. Don't honest, be a rude dude. Plan for it and make sure that you can accommodate things. You know what's funny, though? I, I, I'm remembering this right. I don't think I got that I didn't have a plus one. I think I asked someone to go and I had a date and I had to call her back and be like, I, you can't come. I, it was probably me. I probably read it oh, wrong. Oh, boy. Because the, the, the thing didn't say. Still embarrassing. Plus guess. Yeah. I was like, hey, uh, that wedding I asked you to this weekend, uh, don't worry about it. Here's the other thing. It is I, I, that I wish people understood. It is not a privilege for me to come to your wedding. It's an honor for me to be there to support you. We recently had an experience where everybody was kind of treated like, you should want to be here. This is, are you kidding? You're lucky you were invited. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And I'm like, that's not what this should be about. This should be about celebrating your love and your union and wanting those that love you there to support you. Yeah. No, I get it. I see more texts coming in. I've been to weddings where I wasn't allowed to bring a date. And that to me is wrong. I didn't like that. I felt, to be honest, I mean, I was, I love that I was there, but I felt, I, I was mad. We that, just, we I just had felt, that happen last summer. I wasn't mad. I just felt dumb. Does that make sense? Yes. I wasn't mad. I get it. You have rules. There's a budget. I just felt dumb. My nephew is 25 years old and was invited to a wedding uh, that we were all invited to as well. And he has a girlfriend and they didn't just start dating. Yeah. And she was not included on the invitation. It was to the point where we had to like speak up and be like, if you want him there, He's bringing her. Yeah. Like I said, I understand you paper plate. I understand there's a butt. So I, I get. But again, I wasn't mad. I don't even remember. Didn't who, plan for that. I was. I don't even remember whose wedding it was. Don't be, be a rude dude. Plan for it and make sure that you can accommodate things. What's funny, though, I, I, if I'm remembering this right. I don't think I got that I didn't have a plus one. I think I asked someone to go and I had a date and I had to call her back and be like, I, you can't come. I, it was probably me. I probably read it oh, wrong. Oh, boy. Because the, the, the thing didn't say. Still embarrassing. Plus, yes. Yeah. I was like, hey, uh, that wedding I asked you to this weekend, uh, don't worry about it. Here's the other thing. It is I, I, that I wish people understood. It is not a privilege for me to come to your wedding. It's an honor for me to be there to support you. We recently had an experience where everybody was kind of treated like, you should want to be here. This is, are you kidding? You're lucky you were invited. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And no, I'm like, yeah. that's not what this should be about. This should be about celebrating your love and your union and wanting those that love you there to support you. Yeah. No, I get it. I see more texts coming in. I've been to weddings where I wasn't allowed to bring a date. And that to me is wrong. I didn't like that. I felt, to be honest, I mean, I was, I love that I was there, but I felt, I, I was mad. We I, just, I we just had felt, that happen last summer. I wasn't mad. I just felt dumb. Does that make sense? Yes. I wasn't mad. I get it. You have rules. There's a budget. I just felt dumb. My nephew is 25 years old and was invited to a wedding uh, that we were all invited to as well. And he has a girlfriend and they didn't just start dating. Yeah. And she was not included on the invitation. It was to the point where we had to like speak up and be like, if you want him there, he's bringing her. Yeah. Like I said, I understand you paper plate. I understand there's a butt. So I, I get, but again, I wasn't mad. I don't even remember. Didn't who, plan for that. I was. I don't even remember whose wedding it was. Don't be, be a rude dude. Plan for it and make sure that you can accommodate things. What's funny though, I, it, if I'm remembering this right, I don't think I got that I didn't have a plus one. I think I asked someone to go and I had a date and I had to call her back and be like, I, you can't come. I. It was probably me. I probably read it oh, wrong. Oh boy. Because the, the the thing didn't say. Still embarrassing. Plus guess. Yeah. I was like, hey, uh, that wedding I asked you to this weekend, uh, don't worry about it. Here's the other thing. It is I, I, that I wish people understood. It is not a privilege for me to come to your wedding. It's an honor for me to be there to support you. 
we recently had an experience where everybody was kind of treated like, you should want to be here. This is, are you kidding? You're lucky you were invited. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And no, I'm like, yeah. that's not what this should be about. This should be about celebrating your love and your union and wanting those that love you there to support you. Yeah. No, I get it. I see more texts coming in. I've been to weddings where I wasn't allowed to bring a date. And that to me is wrong. I didn't like that. I felt, to be honest, I mean, I was, I love that I was there, but I felt, I, I was mad. We that, just, I we just had felt, that happen last summer. I wasn't mad. I just felt dumb. Does that make sense? Yes. I wasn't mad. I get it. You have rules. There's a budget. I just felt dumb. My nephew is 25 years old and was invited to a wedding uh, that we were all invited to as well. And he has a girlfriend and they didn't just start dating. Yeah. And she was not included on the invitation. It was to the point where we had to like speak up and be like, if you want him there, he's bringing her. Yeah. Like I said, I understand you paper plate. I understand there's a butt. So I, I get. But again, I wasn't mad. I don't even remember. Didn't who, plan for that. I was. I don't even remember whose wedding it was. Be don't be a that. rude dude. Plan for it and make sure that you can accommodate things. You know what's funny though, I, it, if I'm remembering this right, I don't think I got that I didn't have a plus one. I think I asked someone to go and I had a date and I had to call her back and be like, I, you can't come. I. It was probably me. I probably read it oh, wrong. Oh boy. Because the, the the thing didn't say. Still embarrassing. Plus guess. Yeah. I was like, hey, uh, that wedding I asked you to this weekend, uh, don't worry about it. Here's the other thing it is I, I, that I wish people understood. It is not a privilege for me to come to your wedding. It's an honor for me to be there to support you. We recently had an experience where everybody was kind of treated like, you should want to be here. This is, are you kidding? You're lucky you were invited. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And no, I'm like, yeah. That's not what this should be about. This should be about celebrating your love and your union and wanting those that love you there to support you. Yeah. No, I get it. I see more texts coming in. I've been to weddings where I wasn't allowed to bring a date. And that to me is wrong. I didn't like that. I felt, to be honest, I mean, I was, I love that I was there, but I felt, I, I was mad. We that, just, we I just had felt, that happen last summer. I wasn't mad. I just felt dumb. Does that make sense? Yes. I wasn't mad. I get it. You have rules. There's a budget. I just felt dumb. My nephew is 25 years old and was invited to a wedding uh, that we were all invited to as well. And he has a girlfriend and they didn't just start dating. Yeah. And she was not included on the invitation. It was to the point where we had to like speak up and be like. You too. Uh, let me see here. Oh, quick shout out to Jake. I've been catching myself saying, K, love you, bye, when leaving social <laughs> situations. <laughs> oh, I just giggled. Did you hear his high pitch a little? Yeah. K, love you, bye. Yeah. Yeah. It, it happens every day around 9.55. It does. Got you today if you like. Uh, Blue-eyed country girl checking in. Jake seems like a clean guy. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. He's turning on the mic for this one. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I'll just read what it says. It says, blue-eyed country girl checking in. Jake seems like a clean guy. How did he meet Star? I met Star and Bumble. Bumble's yes. the way to go if you're a guy, I'm telling you. That's the way to go. Because the girl has to initiate any correspondence. So you know she's interested. That's real nice she's for you in, guys. She's interested at least enough to say hello. Can you ruin that immediately? Sure you can. But I mean, at, at least you know she she thought enough to at least say hello. Right. So I, I think Bumble's the way to go. If you're a guy and 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 you're you're looking that route, and trust me, your boy has been on both. <laughs> go with Bumble. I mean, Tinder's fine. Tinder works, but I feel like Bumble's better. If you're, re if you're, not to be all, but if I think if you're looking, actually looking for something, not just a little. <laughs> I gotcha. I think Bumble is the better way to go. Do you agree looking, or disagree? 
I agree. Like if you're looking for an yeah, actual I, I refuse. I was on all the dating apps, but I did refuse to get uh, Tinder. You never did. I Tinder? never. I never did Tinder. Wow. Never. Never. And you were on everything. You yep. didn't even get in there. Just out I was of curiosity? on Christian. I was on Christian Mingle, but I was not on Tinder. <laughs> now, we'll get. Oh man, I hate. It's a good old boy that you can take home to mom. <laughs> That's just interesting. Maybe we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit more. But I have to keep us on time, which I already haven't done. Thanks for the signal, Jake. <laughs> well, you were asking him about his God. dating life. Get us all in trouble. Uh And yeah. then the dinosaurs come back. There's two things I believe in. I know. <laughs> and I'll say it again. Before I leave this earth, if I live a normal expected life, anything could happen. I could walk out of here today, get hit by a car. I understand that. No one's promised anything. Right. But if I live. Clock hour. Of the Q92 Morning Show. Appreciate you guys having us on the radio. Streaming us at Q92Radio.com. And if you're watching on Facebook, YouTube, and X, we appreciate you. Thanks for having us on. Coming up at the 9 o'clock hour. we got a lot going on still, even though it's the final hour of the show. Getting another finalist with the Q to call for our new contest. We're giving away two kayaks just in time for summer with our friends at Stark Park. When you hear the Q to call, you call number 10. You'll be in the running to win, but we're giving you another chance by going over to the live video feed of the morning show that's on YouTube, Facebook, and X. Click the like button. Put the boat emoji in the comment section. And we're going to randomly pick one of you at the end of the show for that. Plus, coming up uh, later on this hour, we're going to have our usual comedian joining us here, uh, going to Crack Pots, performing both Friday and Saturday. Ed Ellis, he is a magician and comedian. Be joining us on the phone line coming up here in about 10 15 minutes, and we're going to be giving away uh, tickets to his performances this week. So he's the headliner, and uh, that's what we got going on. It says he's got the fastest hands and he's the funny man. I was looking at some of his card tricks, I was watching stuff on. I like to look these guys up on YouTube and see some of their stuff. And magic always is like interesting, it always it just like hands. it is. You know, who's like, really, I have a nephew, my youngest nephew is like crazy crazy good at magic he started doing it when he was like six like youtube he also can solve a rubik's cube in like under a minute yeah you know how i solved a rubik's cube taking off the sticker <laughs> switching them. them back on crooked <laughs> like, this is stupid i can't figure this stuff out i there. can't either but i'm like hey good for you i mean i'll watch him do it i'm so fascinated it always bamboozles me but well maybe we'll ask it that like, can you fix a rubik's cube not with magic, but are you good at that with the fastest hand? Like, you can, like, set a world record for fixing a Rubik's Cube. Oh, you absolutely can. Oh, there's tournaments, Christian. For the Rubik's Yes. That's yes. Crazy. Crazy. 330-450-9292 is the phone number, the text line. 330-269-9292. Oh, real quick, congratulations to Nelly and Ashanti. Oh, I know they're having a baby. I'm crazy. I must be crazy because... The story is up on Q92Radio.com for you to go uh, check it out. They're also engaged. I thought they announced they were pregnant like months ago. And in every website I was on this morning was like Nelly and Ashanti. Like they dated way back and like never really like got together, got together like this, obviously. So that was the big news. Maybe that's what you're thinking. But no, they didn't announce a pregnancy before. But Because uh, I remember covering it. I knew. Yeah. They're expecting their first child. Again. They said like it wasn't like necessarily a plan either. They're excited. Oh, well, yeah. But it was like, eh, hey, it's got like a little pleasant. Surprise. How old is she? She's 43. He's 49. Hey, look at her. She's still ovulating. There you go. She's obviously not in Perry Many Plus. <laughs> no, no, she's good. 43, she's good. She's real she's good. She's still making viable eggs. I thought Ashanti, I've always thought Ashanti was beautiful. Oh, yeah. I thought, and, and Nelly was ripped. He's, I mean, he's still Nelly. ripped. Right. Remember when he came on the scene for country grammar? Like, he was just so different. Yeah. From everything else that was out there in rap, and you're like, 
Louis. Yeah. From St. Louis. He, had, he wore the Band-Aid, didn't he? Remember his group, the St. Lunatics? No. St. Louis? No. I remember that. I didn't know that. None of them really became huge. He had a couple songs for St. Lunatics. It was like his crew, but mm -hmm. he came on. He really was unique when you think about when he came out. Yeah. He was just a little different. And then when Juvenile came out. Hmm. Girl, you look good. Won't you back that ass up? You're a fine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would not play finish the lyric here. Uh, let me see. Wonder how long Nelly's been with her. I thought there was a leak of Nelly. I don't know. They weren't together for years. They recently got back together. So it wasn't like they've been together all this time at all. They just rekindled their romance. And uh, now they have a little, little bambino on the way. Hey, guys, Nicolina, your midday diva, is hosting a Taylor Swift album listening party live on air tomorrow at 1 o'clock where you can hear Taylor's new album, The Tortured Poets Department. You can also win exclusive Taylor merch. That's going on tomorrow, 1 o'clock, right here on Q92. Speaking of, it's Cruel Summer. Taylor Swift, it's Q. Yeah. And uh, I'm sorry people are a-holes and run through an emergency scene. Good Lord. Oh, maybe that is the problem. <laughs> oh, someone says you're just a cold-hearted bee. Maybe. Maybe. I doubt it. We but... played that this morning earlier. Yeah. You know who sings that song? No. Jet. Sings Cold Heart Bit. Oh, really? Yeah, the group Jet. Oh, yeah, that makes sense Not now. to be confused with the group from the 80s, the Jets. You've got it all. <laughs> You just proved you're going through menopause knowing that song. You just, you just, you just confirmed it with that reference. I love the Jets. You're like Donnie and Marie Osmond, of course. Who's going I'm through menopause? Than you. Who's going through menopause? Not me. Uh, <laughs> hey guys, remember Johnny Carson? Just joining us, we were talking last hour, middle of the last hour, about the my not daughter uh, sets like five alarms to go off from 6 a.m. to like 6.50. She wakes up, sets the next one, tries to go back to sleep. Sets the next one, goes back to sleep, et cetera, et cetera. And this continues for an hour. I found that idiotic. Not her, it. The process. The process. We had a big discussion last night. She said, I just don't get it. You okay. don't. I'm an old head or whatever. But I don't get it. Is that what she called you? No, that's what I call oh. myself. So I'm like, why would you not just sleep that 50 minutes of full sleep? That's an hour of sleep. Yeah. You don't get it. You don't get it. And that's not her voice, but that's what I'll use from now on. <laughs> you don't get it. You, you don't get it. Uh, Lauren just sets a normal alarm. You yeah. have one backup, oh, crap alarm. Yeah, but it's like 30 minutes later. It's I, not... I set an alarm. I have one snooze. It's like five minutes after that. I have my alarm, the loudest volume, the most annoying noise you can have. Uh, Jake is also a little bit of a multi-alarm guy now. Are you still that way now, Jake? No, I'll, I'll say like one or two. One or yeah. two and you're good to go. Yeah. So we had a couple phone calls. A lady called in her 30s. She said, I'm in my 30s and I do the same thing. Yeah. She sets like multiple alarms. And one of the reasons my not daughter said she does this is because she won't wake up as angry. Yeah, I, I, she's gently waking herself up. I Do I think it's the healthiest, wisest use of time? No. But I understand her logic and well, that, you know. A lot of you, we had two phone calls, and we had a lady who said she's a, she's a psych major. Mm -hmm. And studies have shown that actually is worse, and you get less sleep, and you'll be more tired and more irritable. Yeah. And that checks out with the not daughter. Now that I think about it. Yeah. So. A lot of you text. Let's read some of them. Uh, let's see what you guys do. Mine goes off every five minutes from 620 to 640. 
every every how many five minutes. minutes. Mm. So That's you could have slept that twenty minutes. Yeah. Uh, I do that system too. It gradually wakes you up, and when it's finally ready for you to get up, I don't feel as groggy. See, it works for some Nuts. people. I'm 38. I set my alarms just like her crying, laughing emoji. I'm a mom of three kids, ages 15, 11, and 8. I'm 33, and I do that sometimes. She sent in a screenshot. She has an alarm at 536, 615, and 630. You guys, you could be sleeping. Um, Angela on Facebook says, I have one alarm only. I can barely stand to hear it once, much less it going off multiple times. Absolute. I have five alarms set six minutes apart. The last alarm having a total of a total different sound. My God, a lot of these people do this. Of the not daughters, correct. You gradually waking up a little bit more with each alarm. You better tell her to go back and watch this segment on YouTube <laughs> so she can hear how many listeners have her back. had like a list of things you don't realize you do that annoy your neighbors. And I was going through a list. It's pretty standard. It's a lot of things that I think we've all experienced neighbors doing or we've even maybe done ourselves. Right. For sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like mowing your lawn late at night or early in the morning. Um, not taking, letting your dogs go in the neighbor's yard and poop. You know what I mean? Not yes. taking care of that or not cleaning up the poop. Yeah. Um, things like letting your kids play in the street all day, um, going overboard for holidays. That's my all yard. There. Mind your business. Uh, <laughs> God, tree debris or grass debris, you know, not, you know, putting the grass clippings out in the street or letting your leaves go into your neighbor's yard or raking them in your neighbor's yard. Things like that. Yeah. Parking issues. People who park on the street and other people don't like it or not allowed to do it but they do it anyway basic stuff and it got me thinking like doesn't mean you don't like your neighbor right but what is something your neighbor does that annoys you or you don't like you wish they didn't do again that's necessary you might hate your neighbors i get it but you might not hate them at all but they do this one thing and you're like yeah i really wish you guys didn't do that. <laughs> Like, my, like, like, mine is just because I'm an introvert. Yeah. I wish they wouldn't be outside when I pull in to talk to me. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, when I pull in, I just want to go in my house. Oh, I and know. It has nothing to do. I, they're lovely. I have great neighbors on both sides. I know that, but you're similar here. Like, don't talk but, to me. I just want to leave. Yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to talk to anybody. I, I just want to go. I want to get in my. I just pulled in. I just got home. I want to just. And I'm going to get the mail, and I sit like, oh, I'll pull in. You. I still laugh because we'll pull in, and you'll hear. I'll go. Oh, if one of them's outside, like, are your windows ever down? Here we go. No, I'm not like that rude. And I have great neighbors on both sides. Awesome. It has nothing to do with them as persons. It has to do with me being a weirdo and not wanting to associate with humans. Yeah, I don't mind that. We have awesome neighbors on our one side. Like we're very good friends with them. Our kids babysit, house sit. We just got done fish sitting yesterday for them. Um, they're amazing. We could not ask for better neighbors. You could. Everybody else, like, they're fine. Like, we don't, we're not, we don't talk to all of our neighbors all mm -hmm. of the time. But if we see them, it's like, hello, hello, you know. Yeah. Um, there's one neighbor, though, in particular, and it's not even anything that they do that gets on my nerves. I'm perplexed by it. Both he and his wife have to pull into the garage backwards. They have, Does he have a truck? to back it. Dodge Ram. Oh, my God. I think he does. Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> it's a truck, but I don't know what make it it's is. I'm going to look today. Either an F-150 or Dodge Ram. They but... are so nice, but I cannot figure out why we have to make it a point to back in. It perplexes me. It has for years. I don't know. It's just for that, huh? <laughs> You're not done. Uh, anyway, real quick, this is not a this is not anything I want to dwell on. I've just been laughing at this on the internet. We all know Rick Flair, right? Rick Flair, woo! I yeah. say Rick Flair, woo! everyone goes, woo! Yep. Jake, do we woo? Woo! Do you know you Rick go. Flair? No. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, he has his own link to that. His 
own wigs? Wings. Oh, wings. I was like. Yes, there's only wings now, okay? Yeah. Hold on, I got it. I pulled it up somewhere and I got it. Okay. You know what they're called? His his wings? Wings! Oh my gosh. They're called wings. <laughs> he said wings. Hold on, I got maybe it's not better if I turn it up without I don't probably get distorted, but Wing! It does sound like he's saying wings. Wing! Wing! So like how do you order that? <laughs> Oh, God. I'll have 12 barbecue wings. <laughs> right. <laughs> wing. Wing. Oh, boy. They're called wings. That's all. Nothing behind that. I just wanted to play it on the air. There's even the video of him holding it. They're, they're called woo wings. Woo wings. He's on the box. Like, it's him on the box. It says woo across well, the box. Do it all together wings. now. So you would be like, woo wings. Woo wings. There you I go. Just, oh, my God. Well done, Rick Flair. Well done in
of Bad Habits right here on today's hit music. It is Q92. It is 924. Do not forget, coming up this hour, two more opportunities for you to become a finalist for a brand new contest we just announced with our friends at Stark Parks this morning in the 8 o'clock hour, giving away a pair of kayaks for the summer. You're going to hear the cue to call coming up this hour. When you hear that, be caller number 10. And if you go over to the live video feed on YouTube, Facebook, and X, click the like button in the comments section. Put the uh, boat emoji. We're going to select one of you that's done that coming up uh, at the end of the show. We'll make you a finalist as well. And, of course, you'll have chances with Nick Alina, with Keller this afternoon, and with Ryan at night. So we give it away a week from today. So listen for that cue to call. Be caller number 10, and maybe you'll get a phone call from us a week from today telling you, hey, come down here and pick up your kayaks. It'd be pretty cool. It'd be really cool. And I'm just glad we got a little taste of the weather that you can use kayaks in these last couple of days. Yeah. That was great. I know today's still going to be nice. Yeah, it's not going to be better. It's going to be, what, pushing 70? I mean, it's going to be upper 60s. Yeah. I was, you know, it's funny. I was thinking about uh, possibly going to catch the uh, a Guardians game. They're at home against the Athletics this weekend. When I saw the weather, I was like, eh. The Oakland A's. Yeah, and it's going to be sunny, but 52 and 54. And I'm with Jim. Didn't Jose Canseco play for the A's? He did with Mark McGuire. They were called the Bash Brothers. Oh, look at that. See, I because, know this much about because baseball. Because they bashed home runs. When they hit home runs, they'd all they'd go like this. They'd bang their arms together going back to the dugout. That's how old I am. That's really cool. They were called the Bash Brothers. Wow. And they would, they would, they hit a lot of home runs. They hit them hard. And then Canseco, you know, he got a little bit of stuff with. You know, and and McGuire them a little bit, and man, McGuire both, you know, accused of you know, a little bit of the juicy juice. I never, you know, that's one. There are two sports controversies that never bothered me. One was steroids. I don't know why it didn't bother me. It's cheating. I mean, I guess you're still gonna hit the ball. It bother you? Well, okay, so you just have to have really good hand eye coordination. Really good, really good. You're still gonna hit the ball and hit the pitch. I don't know. It helps these guys heal faster and and. Get back from injury quicker and a little stronger. Obviously, I don't know. I just never that and P Pete Rose being in trouble for betting on baseball and not being allowed in the Hall of Fame. I always thought he should be in the Hall of Fame. Well, isn't Pete Rose a baseball player? Yeah. So one would think maybe he'd have a little insider insight, which gives him a leg up on the whole betting scene thing. That was that's that's the issue. Yeah, that's the issue. To me, it makes perfect sense. I don't know why it didn't bother well, you. Well, because I don't think he bet on him. He didn't bet on Reds games. I don't think. I, well, I, mean, I don't know. I didn't. Mean, I just felt like he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. That stuff he did as a baseball player. He didn't do that. I, 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 the stats are the stats. I don't, I don't want to go down the rabbit hole. Not with Pete Rose. It's not worth it. I'm not trying to die on that hill. No. Just the steroids things never bothered me because it was baseball was so much fun with McGuire and yeah, Barry Yeah, because Bonds everybody and, was all roided out. They're like, rah, and, and killing the, the ball. And the home runs were flying out of the park. Attendance was I up. I wonder why. Ratings was up. Hey, I'm just saying, wasn't that the last time baseball was truly fun when the athletes were all drugged up everybody was just a juice head crushing homers yeah, maybe I'm wrong. i heard that that can have adverse effects on other parts of your body someone said pete rose only ever bet on his team to win see mm. that's not him like shaving points or like striking out on purpose or trying to help them lose to win money oh wait a second he was was betting on the Reds to win. Well, while he was playing for them. Well, possibly. Allegedly. No. You cannot do that. But he's betting on him to win. I don't care. I mean, Joe Namath said, I guarantee it, but he didn't put any money on it. Yeah. Joe Namath. I'm just saying. You remember that time of baseball. It was awesome. Yes, I remember. I remember having the stomach flu and watching the World Series. God, it must have been late 90s. And it was fun. It was. I actually got into it. I was like, I know nothing about baseball. But remember, by the end of the series, I did. Remember that summer when McGuire and uh, Sosa were, were racing to get the home run record? I don't. Oh, it was amazing. I just remember I had a friend who was obsessed with the Indians and would go to all the games with their dad. And she specifically loved Manny Ramirez. Oh, Manny was great. Yeah. The teams we had in the 90s were unbelievable. Kenny Lofton, Albert Bell. Mm -hmm. I know all those names. Jim Tomey. I never got into baseball, though. I always thought it was the most boring to watch. I know it's America's pastime. It is. It, it is. 
And I appreciate it. I think it takes skill and talent and all those things. I, I just, would argue now NFL is the most popular sport in this country. Yeah, I, I would rather watch basketball or football. Baseball, to me, is the most fun to go to. Maybe it's because I have ADD. You know? Mm-hmm. Like, you can't hang, like, because there's not a lot going on sometimes at a baseball game. But if you go to something action-packed. I did see that. Uh, the NBA just banned a player for life. For betting? For betting. Good. For life. So I'm saying the NBA has a problem with it, but Christian doesn't. <laughs> I, I did. I did. Christian's like, go ahead. Yeah, you know, yeah. Makes it fun. What are we doing? Come on. We're having a good time. It's uh, Jelly Roll. Laney Wilson, save me. It's Q92. What are you doing right now exactly? You look like, um, I don't even know what. You, you have a second to pop over to Facebook, YouTube, or X. I, you Enjoying look myself. so weird. You look like you're getting ready to go like scuba diving, like a wetsuit. Oh, how cool would that be? Look at it, doesn't it? Like, you know how they put the hood up? Yeah, and it then... does look like a wetsuit. Oh, we're looking for the Titanic. We'll be back. That or what's that one where they they would drop them? Oh, what is Cuba Gooding Jr. was in it? He was a, oh, he went that was down. a great movie. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. And they would like put Met, the big helmet Men of on honor. It. Men of honor? Maybe. Medal of honor? Something honor. Do women want gentlemen, or uh, don't you still want the bad boys? I mean, I do I don't know about a bad man? boy, but you don't want a pushover either. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I would really like you girls just to do that. Text your man that, and then text back whatever the hell uh, they write back. I'm just curious, or just tell us what he what he wrote back. I'm very curious. I mean, I guess that would be a that would be a good compliment to get, I suppose. Should I add a heart emoji? No, don't overdo it. No, okay. Don't overdo. If he's listening, this is going to work. He's not listening.
You know what we I love about uh, our sister station, AM 1310 WDPN? That it smacks. I mean, it's so Man, good. You go to pee sometimes. You leave this studio. You have to walk by the <laughs> WDPN studio to uh, come back to our studio. Yeah. You know, shout out to uh, Rex in the morning. Sexy Rexy. Clint, Clint, our newsman, our buddy. Absolutely. Does the news every day and calls high school football here on the station. But, man, you'll come back from the bathroom, and you'll hear an absolute banger coming out I of mean, that I mean, it could be Billy Joel. It could be Madonna. It could be uh, Michael Bolton. I mean, I've heard it come oh, out of that. I've hits. heard the Five song song somewhere, oh, somewhere out there. Oh, well, somewhere out there. <laughs> yeah. Tremendous song. Yeah. Oh. It's That's good. a great song. Yeah. That was a sad movie at times. Oh, my God. American Talk about, Tale. That might be the first time as a child that I knew what depression was. Kid lost his family. I know. And then you were worried about losing yours. It made you a paranoid child. Like, oh, damn. <laughs> oh, find your family, Fifel. Oh, And that song wasn't exactly the happiest song either. No. Underneath oh, the same blue sky. Oh, my God. Have you ever in your life You're wanted to put to a toe arrested. in your mouth? A toe in my mouth? Have you ever, other than maybe Jimmy's, like to kiss them? That is the cutest thing. It is thing really in the world. cute. I, that I've is the cutest it. thing in the world. But an adult's toe, have you ever had I don't the hate, urge? I don't hate feet. I'm not necessarily a. Have you ever wanted to suck them, though? Wanted. I'm sure I have. Like, I suck a I toe. Have. I'm sure I have. Ugh. I'm not boring, Lauren. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm not missionary only lights off. <laughs> You're so dumb. All right, I'm so, that is. <laughs> You're so dumb. I'm not. I'm not. I have never. And no though. talking. No talking. Uh, mm. But there is a huge difference in that with two consenting adults and going into a stranger's hotel room. I'm, I get it. <laughs> Sounds like the guy from Mr. Deeds that loved changing socks. <laughs> You it's know, crazy. I know you've always told me about the foot fetish and all that kind of stuff. We've had discussions off air about this. Christian, I, no, don't lie on air. I'm just lie. No. Hey, right here on today's hit music, Q92. <laughs> There's your cue to call. How would you like to win a pair of kayak just in time for the summer? Well, Q92, our parks got together and we decided we are doing just that. Giving away two of them, as a matter of fact. It's time to become a finalist right now. We want caller number 10 at 330-450-9292. Caller number 10, you'll be our next kayak finalist. It's Metro Boomin, the weekend, 21 Savage. It's creeping on Q92. A uh, text message. I had a girl that was interested in me. Tell me her and her ex still are still talking. And if he wants to get back together, she's going to leave me. I definitely ran away from that one. Wow. I appreciate the honesty, but what in the F? Hey, this is great and all, but if my ex wants me back, I'm out of here. Yeah, no. Now let's go get a bite to eat. Wait, no, no. Oh, bye, Felicia. We are no longer going to Cracker Barrel. There's no way I'm taking you to Cracker Barrel now. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Man. That is uh, I'm I'm still trying to process everything you just told me.
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Rage Room, when your friend has no kids, husband lives with her parents, but says she's a life coach and posts videos <laughs> of how others can improve their lives. Rage Room. <laughs> That is fantastic. Listen, it's fine if you've got no kids, no husband, and you live with your parents. But to say that you can help others live their best life when you have zero experience. The only thing I would take umbrage with, good word there, is is still living with your parents. No, if you don't have kids, you don't have to have kids to be successful. You don't have to have a husband or wife to be. Right. But I'm assuming. You do need to be independent, though, to speak on how to. If your age starts with a three and you're still living with (laughs) mommy, you should probably reassess a few things yeah. now unless you're ridiculously smart and have been stashing money away this entire time well, that would be really smart yeah, you know what then, i mean yeah i get that but uh, i don't how old is this friend who no kids no if you text me 23 i mean come on that's fine yeah but still if you text me 31 how can you be a life coach at 23 when you haven't had any life experience yeah well uh, touche yeah touche jake you'd be a good life coach would i at age 24? At age 24, <laughs> I think you've learned a lot. You've moved out, had to move back in. You, oh, you've, yeah, he's gone you, to school hard now. You have a job. You've started an own side business you're trying to get off the ground. Yeah. You're in a long-distance relationship that includes trust, travel. What's your mantra? I don't He doesn't know what that means. Okay. What's your, yeah. um, what's your slogan, Jake, for life? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> just ride the wave. That's my slogan for life. Ride the wave. Yeah, ride just, the wave. Yeah, just ride the wave. Because on your electric surfboard. Yeah. <laughs> I remembered. I remember. It came as a foam kickboard. Uh, it came as a foam <laughs> kickboard you ordered from China on Instagram at night. For $300. <laughs> I, you know what else? I had a friend um, who used to, and he would admit this, he would get drunk at night and order concert tickets and then ask girls to go to the concert with him. Random girls, like he'd see at bars or. You need online. to hook him up with my sister. He's married now. Oh, dang it! He's married. My now. sister does that. She'll be like, she'll text me really late. She'll be like, "Which concert do you want to go to next?" I'm like, "Stop!" But he How would, much have you had to drink? Because we're going to be sitting front row. He wouldn't be about a friend. He'd be like, "I'm going to take a girl to this." That's oh, what he would do. It'd yeah. be for a date. Yeah. But he'd buy him drunk, and he'd have tickets to like all these concerts, and he wouldn't necessarily have anyone to go with. So he would tell me about it. It was frustrating to him. He's happily married now. Everything's fine. I'm glad. Hopefully he takes. But I remember shows. that. That stuck with me. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, but you're buying just concert tickets with you. I was like, did you ask someone? No. I'll find somebody like, to go so with you're, me. You're buying them and drunk, and then you're like, well, I'm gonna find a girl. And we're gonna go to the show. Yeah. yeah. All right. Hey man. Good on you. Yeah. Uh, text message: Jake is a secret serial killer. <laughs> he is not. I assure you. No. No. Oh, he wouldn't hurt a fly. He's or literally he? no. He wouldn't. He's literally the nicest, nicest kid you'll ever. No, I can't say kid. You are the nicest man, kid that I've ever met. Sure, <laughs> I have to say that because te- technically, I could be your mom. Yeah. How old are you? 24. Oh, I could easily be your mom. I would have had you when I was 18, but still, it happens. Oh, a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Makes for great senior pick.
Q92, hello, who's this? Crystal. Hey, Crystal, where are you calling from? North Canton. All right, Crystal, congratulations. You're caller 10. You're now a finalist. Yay. Congratulations, Crystal. You could just be paddling into summer with a pair of kayaks for you and a friend. Powered by our friends at Stark Parks, your destination for summer fun. Tell everybody your favorite station, making you a finalist. You and I need to. All right. That's our second finalist of the morning. But, Lauren, it's time to get one more. It is. It's time to get one more. And if you want to be uh, a finalist, you can head over to Facebook, YouTube, or X. Find that video live stream. Give it a like. Put the boat emoji in the comments. Uh, we're going to be pulling another finalist here before the end of the show. Uh, from there in about eh, two or three minutes. What are you waiting for? Get over there. Now, normally uh, on Thursdays, we always end up chatting with the comedians going to be performing and headlining at Crackpot's Comedy Club. Uh, Ed, Ed Ellis was supposed to join the show today in the 9 o'clock hour. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, that did not happen. Right. But he's still coming to Crackpot with a show tomorrow night at 7.30 and two shows at 7.30 and 9.15 on Saturday night. He's known as the comedian and the magician with the world's fastest hands from Canton originally. Yep. He has spent years at Hilton Head Island Resort. He's uh, been a featured magician at Caesars Palace in Vegas. I mean, the man's been all over the world with his magic and his comedy. He absolutely has. Uh, you guys want to go to a show? Because we're going to send you there. If you guys call us up right now, we've got four packs of tickets. I'm going to give away four, four packs. So if you call, it's busy. Keep calling. You'll get through, and we'll give you these tickets. 330-450-9292. Who wants to spend a fun night? Uh, at a comedy club this weekend at Crackpot. You know, it's funny, real quick, we keep getting, uh, we got a text earlier in the show, like around the 7 or 8 o'clock hour, and uh, I think it was someone on Facebook or something said the same thing, that they've gone at a great time. Yeah, I said we ha all had a blast. Uh, one ticket to Crackpot. Thank you, Q92. Lindsay Glazer was hilarious. Awesome. Love hearing that. Yep. So if you want to go, hit us up right now. We'll hook you up. It's Q92. Hey, folks, this is it. Yeah. Someone said, just go for it. What the hell? Yeah, I don't know. Listen, I, that's what I would do. I would, I would I hate that, but you're single. What the hell? Right. You don't, you don't owe me anything yet. No. If I like you and I tell you I like you, like, well, I'm still going to date. Well, here's that's my. That's different. I, I think, I mean, how I see, and then this is so going to sound so naive. I, I don't have much experience with this. I'm admittedly so. But, like, how do you, I mean, I get dating apps and all that kind of stuff. But back in my day, see, now I sound really old. We are. A lot of times you were set up by, like, friends. Sometimes, yeah. Like, you would, they, your friends would be like, come out with me tonight. This guy's coming. He's friends with, and maybe it was, like, her boyfriend or friends with him. And I think you two would be perfect. You know what I mean? So you kind of got, like, set up on a night out where it wasn't like you were on a date. You were just meeting for the first time. Yeah. Like, does that still happen? I, I have no idea if anything happens in reality. And I'm not even being funny. Like, I don't know that anyone doesn't meet digitally first. Anymore. That's what I'm, that's yeah, my like, question. I, like, I, how does this work now that we're in just like a totally different time? We were like the last, gener we were one of the, we probably were if you think about it, because the phones and stuff all started while we were still young. Yeah. We were probably the last generation that like you did go to the bar, um, meet someone through a friend me you know what i mean like yes like, like to me i'd rather meet somebody that way in my opinion like well i i mean i kind of did but i'm just saying like it, it's safer because at least you have some background information on the person and then if they have been seeing somebody and they're not fessing up to it like you know you find out because yeah. said friends kind of rat them out like hey you've seen this yeah. girl but and when you realize she's not as pretty as you, <laughs> you know yeah. what i mean like when well, you're talking to someone you see all these pictures are they filters exactly you know what i mean you have are, no are idea filters? are there pictures all of a group of friends and you're not sure which one's the one you're talking to <laughs> right are April. they all are they all only selfies of the face and right. that's it I with, mean, a, like, with a heavy filter on yeah, it i mean like, what are we dealing with here it's, it's tough you're Someone, looking for a dinner and you can't find her because no. she looks completely different know, who are you uh you look like the girl i'm supposed to meet uh it does still happen but i hate it because then i feel obligated to meet or continue to talk to someone because other people got involved. I hated when I, oh, I see that it was nails on a chalkboard. If anyone ever said to me, like, I have someone you would you should date. You would be like, Ugh. I would be like, I could not be less. It would. I would honestly be annoyed. Yeah, it would annoy me. 
Well, I'd be like, get out of here with that. My like, sister would tell me, like, when we would do stuff like that, she'd be like, you were making me feel like I have to be dating. And I don't feel like I have to be dating. Like, don't make me feel bad for being single. And I guess I never really thought about it that way. I thought I want her to be happy. I want her to be in a relationship. And in my mind, that's what it was going to take to make her happy. I see that. It, but it, it's not true. Yeah, it's like people are coming to you like, oh, you're single. There's right. something wrong with you. It's yeah. Like, I was single for years. I was happy. I was not lonely. Right. No, well, I mean, two days a year. My sister loves it. She's fine. I'm telling you, I believe me, I love my life now, but I was not unhappy when I met Jamie. Like I had my house, I had a job, I had a dog. Mm -hmm. I could go and go, come and go as I please. If I wanted to be social, I could. If I wanted to be a hermit, I did. Yeah. I had a PlayStation. Like I, I was not unhappy. <laughs> I really wasn't. Yeah. I really wasn't. I, I just, and some people would, I think, sometimes look at you like, oh, he's single or something wrong. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm I'm actually good. Yeah. I mean, I'm awesome now, but I mean, like, I was not. Not everyone that's single is miserable. No, no. exactly. And that's what I'm saying. We as friends need to kind of assess that situation, I guess. Because yeah. for years, I was like, is there anybody we can set my sister up with? Is there anybody we can? Yeah. And she would be like, gosh, no. Like, I'm fine. I'm good. Stop. Yeah. You know? Like, I get it. Right. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. Someone text in. <laughs> Today's hip music, it is Q92, and that's going to about do it for us here this morning. Before we get out of here, though, everybody went over there to the live feed of the morning show on YouTube, Facebook, and X. Click the like button, put the boat emoji in the comment section. You are eligible for a chance to become a finalist for our brand new contest brought to you by our friends at Stark Parks. We're giving away a pair of kayaks for the summer. How cool is that? So, everyone that did it, here's your chance. Lauren, randomly, who are we going to select and make a finalist for this contest. Today is Gina Passmore. Gina Passmore, you're now in the running. You could be the person we call a week from today and tell you to come down here and pick up your two awesome kayaks. They're in our conference room right now. They're big. They're very large. They're very kayaky. You yeah. will love them. They float and everything. That new contest continues. Next chance to become a finalist coming up with Nick and, of course, with Keller this afternoon and with Ryan tonight. So there you go quick show today. like it flew by it really did it's Love been it. a day let me tell you thank you guys for the phone calls thank you guys for listening for streaming at q92radio.com watching along on facebook youtube and x appreciate it like i said nick's in here next Kel in the afternoon ryan at night live and local radio station locally owned radio station proud to be both of those things you guys have a great day enjoy it and i will be back next time we talk to you it'll be friday you mean fry yay fry Yay. Jake, anything for the good men and women that have been listening to us all morning you'd like to say to them in particular? Love you. Bye. There you go. It's Livingston Shadow. It's Q92.